fine. Yeah, I have theirs right here. Do you have the one that's numerical order? There's none right here? No, I just want numerical though. Huh? Yeah, but numerical. Not by name, numerical. Welcome to Citizens Business Bank Arena for tonight's Major Arena Soccer League game between your Ontario Fury and the Southwest Division's Souls de Sonora. Tonight's game features the Fury wearing special jerseys inspired by their partnership with National Community Corps Renaissance. The jerseys will be auctioned off after the game to benefit the group's mission. National Community Renaissance, together we transform lives and communities. You're watching MASL Soccer right here on MASL.TV. Your Ontario Fury would like to thank MITRE USA for providing today's match balls. MITRE, founded in Huddersfield, England, is among the world's oldest sporting goods brands, starting production in 1817. MITRE is a proud partner of Major Arena Soccer League, providing arena-specific match balls to both the MASL and MASL2. You're watching Ontario Fury Soccer on MASL-TV. Catch every game each week on the league's official streaming home, MASL.TV. Also, a few reminders for you fans all over social media. Get the latest and up-to-date news on the MASL and your favorite teams. Make sure you are following MASL Soccer on Facebook and Instagram and MASL Arena on Twitter. So glad you can join us here on a Friday night here in Southern California. The first visit for the Souls of Sonora Club visiting Citizens Business Bank Arena. My name is Brian Tabajay alongside Jose Duran. Jose, what an atmosphere already tonight. I cannot wait to get this one started here. Yeah, it's going to be a good one tonight. And just by the looks of the crowd uh, filing in, they know that it's going to be an important game tonight. They have a great Solis de Sonora team coming into town uh, at 8 and 6. I've won five in a row. So they're going to be looking for everything tonight against the Fury. A few scratches uh, for the Ontario Fury. Chico Francisco Cordero out for the boys tonight, along with Leonardo de Oliveira. Another scratch, two main key components on this roster. The top two in points, uh, Chico Francisco leads the team in assists, but yet there are three players that have been injected into this lineup, and we'll get to those three players who joined the Fury this week. We'll dig into the moves that the, were made from team president Bernie Lillivaugh and what head coach Jimmy Norberg has to utilize here tonight in their first matchup here against the Souls, Souls de Sonora Club. But first, the national anthems here from Citizens Business Bank Arena.
Well done from the visiting mariachi band to get na both national anthems down solid. So what an atmosphere already it is inside Citizens Business Bank Arena. My name is Brian Tabajay alongside Jose Duran here inside Citizens Business Bank Arena. We're proud to be a part of a special night here as a National Community Corps Renaissance inspired jerseys will be auctioned off after tonight's game. Uh, all the fans will be able to get those game worn jerseys signed and sealed and delivered by their favorite player on the pitch. And let's dig into this three uh, new injected players for the roster. We're talking about healthy scratches in Chico Francisco Cordero, Leonardo de Oliveira, and also Tino Nunez uh, key players, that, huge players. That, were, that are all really very important key factors like you just said uh, to this team. But they did get three new players, Odai Belhaj. Belhaj, who's 24 years old, Named the most valuable player of the World Mini Football Federation Mini Football World Cup. Played last October in Tunisia. Also signed a 20-year-old defender, Rafael Santana. And 19-year-old goaltender, Clayson De Lima. Uh, the two, Santana and De Lima, are both out of Brazil. Uh, they were found through head coach Jimmy Nordberg's connections with his club, club team, FC Golden State. All three players are on the... Fury's 20-man roster, and we'll see time not only with the Ontario Fury, but also the Fury 2 as well. More to come on those players, with, but we got to remember what, what type of game they played down in San Diego. Mm -hmm. It was a tight game. Adrian Perez, with a hat trick for the team, has to have built some confidence for him. More importantly, the unspoken real you know star of this team so far this year, Charlie Gonzalez, yep. has been playing out of his mind. Uh, in the two games against San Diego, Gonzalez had three goals and four assists. And, and, and then you talk about Adrian Perez, another youngster, another local talent product here out of the Inland, Inland Empire, who's been on fire as of late. How crucial is their play tonight to be successful against the uh, Sonora Club? That's going to be huge. You know, we saw what Adrian Perez could do against the great San Diego squad and what he did in those couple of games he played against them. Had a couple of goals down there. And the player, Charlie Gonzalez, I mean, he's the one that gets the motor going. Uh, when the key players are on there, like Leonardo, like Tino Nunes. So Charlie's been uh, taking a huge workload for uh, Coach Jimmy Norbert, but I think he's up for the, for the call and he's up for the challenge, and it's something that you like to see out of your young core players. A challenge for sure, Jose. Yep. These three new players are going to be injected into the lineup. The big star out of those three is definitely going to be Uday Belhaj. Belhaj is a fast, very talented young player who's going to bring some speed. Head coach Jimmy Nordberg saying pregame, he wants to play with speed. He wants to play with tempo. He wants to play with, with, with pace and with all these scratches who are veteran leadership caliber players. Mm -hmm. Now you see the likes of Andy Reyes. You see the likes of Adrian Perez. You see Charlie Gonzalez plus these new additions. This is a young, young, very talented team. The question is, can they close the game? We lean back on their previous game down in San Diego. Tied up at the start of the fourth quarter at mm -hmm. six apiece. Shut out in that fourth quarter. That was a big, big blow to the Ontario Fury. Yeah, and not to mention they started that game with a 3-0 lead to start off in the first quarter. Everything looked like it was going great for, for that Fury team. But again, you go back to uh, the sort of the inexperience. This is a young team. They're going to get it together. 
they would they did get it together in their previous game they played here against San Diego. It's just a matter of time. The starting lineups for your Ontario Fury working from left to right here in the first quarter. The captain, Izzy Cisse. Charlie Gonzalez on the pitch along with Adrian Perez. Gino Kim getting a start for the first time uh, here at home. I love his gameplay so far. Hey, Gino Kim knows how mm -hmm. to play and also beat the Souls de Sonora. Uh, Gino Kim, part of the Baltimore Blast Club that faced up two years in a row against the Souls de Sonora. Baltimore on top, obviously, for the Round Newman Cup Championship. And Gino Kim brings that type of leadership to this very young, very talented core team. Uh, the last player, last but not least, on the Ontario Fury that's on the pitch for the starting five. Uh, Juan Gonzalez also part of this starting five here tonight. Frank Tayu is the biggest component. Man. I mean, numbers speak for itself, right? You always hear the phrase, numbers don't lie. Numbers mm -hmm. do not lie, but this guy, I've seen him play twice. This will be my, what, third game now seeing uh, Frank Tayu play live. This guy is a beast. And Jimmy Nordberg was saying, he's gonna get his if we can continue how much he produces tonight. That's a win for Ontario. Yeah, you know, uh, seeing him down earlier, he is definitely, definitely a big time player up there. He's a goal leader and a points leader for a reason. You know, he gets things done up there. But you know, the, the Fury have done their, for, have done well against big players like that. They held, held down uh, Charles' last game, uh, San Diego Stalkers striker. So I'm pretty sure they could do the same thing here uh, with Tyler and very careful here. Wow, a, a play off of the far side boards that nearly down the back of that and then a, a shot off of Echeverria's foot that just hit the inside post along the near side. And right away the Souls of Sonora just showing that they're out here to play tonight. It's a little odd that both teams will be wearing a white, uh, of course the Sonora Club mostly white with their maroon shorts, but the Ontario Fury home team, Ontario Fury are wearing red and white stripes uh, as well as we have some play at early action on near midfield. Just underway here from Citizens Business Bank Arena. My name is Brian Tabajay alongside Jose Duran. We're in for a treat tonight as the Souls of Sonora Club, although in second place in the Southwest Division, they're behind the league's top best team in the Monterey Flash, 14 and 0. The Flash will visit Ontario in a couple weeks time. And that'll be an exciting game as well to witness here from Citizens Business Bank Arena. Deep ball sent in from the Sonora goaltender as Gonzalez will settle things down and look for Gino Kim along the far side boards. Switch of the field to Caceres. Ooh, bad Caceres ball. finding his way back to Ontario after joining the El Paso club after there was a foul right above the yellow line. Gino Kim drawing the foul for Ontario, but Caceres Back with the Ontario Club. He was here last year. He came over from the Las Vegas Legends when the Legends were still around a couple seasons ago. And now back here after a short stint in El Paso. As the Sonora Club, the only, really, the only big scoring chance so far in the game belongs to the Souls of Sonora. Along the far side now, first sighting of Jiho Lee, the left-footed, Korean-born player, finding some time. He did have an overtime winner against Turlock a couple games, we'll make that three games ago, up in Turlock as he earns the ball back near midfield. Caceres trying to find the youngster Andy Reyes, who's another local talent product here out of San Bernardino. So far, both teams trying to figure out themselves on the pitch. The Sol is lucky to have a couple shots earlier, but as time goes on, nothing so far for both of them. So scoreless first quarter here from Citizens Business Bank Arena. As teams are starting to feel each other out. Eight and six is the Sonora Club. After last year, they just went on streaks of victories um, and then propelling themselves into uh, contention for that Ron Newman Cup championship again. Yeah, they started 0 and 3 and 8 and 3 since then, won five in a row. And it seems some, something seemed to click as here come the Fury. And now the first sighting of the youngster who was picked up out of Tunisia, Odai Belhaj. Excited to see how he does tonight. I'm very excited as he's applying pressure there. No foul call given by the referees. I love it. It's 
all that pressure and that's all that key stuff that, that gets the turnovers right away for the Fury going. Tayu hunting that ball down along the far side. Double team by the Fury there. They win that battle momentarily. Giving up the ball. Good save. And Miranda with the save of the game. And then the Souls, the Sonora, find the back of the net in the end. And it's 1-0 Sonora. Yeah, just an unfortunate bounce right at back at the soul is a Sonora player. But just that clearance, that defensive clearance for a, a part of the Fury. You never clear those balls back into the middle. This one was cleared right to the middle. For, unfortunately enough, it was a great save for the Fury goalkeeper, but it's 1-0 in Solis. So the Solis and De Sonora, the first team on the board tonight. Christian Segura, unofficially the goal scorer for the Sonora club. As he nets his 14th goal on the season and his 21st point. Man, this team, this roster, Jose, littered with talent. You look at the point totals for the top five players, 49 points, 24, 23, 21, and 20. Segura, the bottom of the top five in points. And we'll see what Ontario can do to kind of challenge that to make this a really exciting game here from Ontario. And like you said, right before that goal was given up, as you see, Maybe a little bit of nerves right now from Miranda as he had a stop of the game for a split second. Yeah. Unfortunately, that ball that you talked about, giving up right down the middle of the pitch, something you never, ever want to do. And just maybe even a minute before that, Caceres had a ball that was given up. He was on the near side, gave that ball up uh, right inside the yellow line. So some things are going to have to clean up here early on in the first quarter. A one nothing score provided by... Christian Segura of the Souls of Sonora Club. Going back on those giveaways, unfortunately for the Fury, that's been the story all season long. Those giveaways given away have caused them uh, points on the road, victories on the road, and it's something that you see here. It, it cost them a goal tonight. Kiros draws the foul on Adrian Perez as the restart coming here for Sonora. Ten and a half remaining here in the opening quarter from Citizens Business Bank Arena. As Sonora, really not too much possession overall, but just finishing with quality is the Souls de Sonora Club as they're right across midfield and then coughed up. Adrian Perez with the Paris. turn and then a foul call. Almost an advantage play there, but the referees decided to blow the whistle. Unfortunately for, for Paris, he stopped it there, but then again, uh, he had no one going uh, to help him out on his side, left side or right side. So fortunate for the Fury, they called, uh, they called back that foul. And that's why you didn't really see any arguments from uh, Adrian Perez on that specific play. But if you're the Fury, I mean, you're lucky enough to be only down by one goal after seeing the first couple of shots on target by the Solas of Sonora. It's one nothing uh, 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 deficit so far for the Fury, but it's nothing that they can't come back from. And we've seen it multiple times. Yes, yeah, there's a foul call along the far side boards. As you have first year head coach Jimmy Norberg, assistant Styles Peterson. The head trainer, Shelby Daly, team doctor, Dr. Patel. And then, of course, the team president and GM, Bernie Lillevoix. It's going to be interesting to see how the Fury take advantage of these set pieces. Since you have key players missing on tonight, like Chico Cordero, Tino Nunez, Leonardo de Oliveira. So these key pieces end up being huge for the Fury tonight. As the restart came for a split second and then another whistle shortly after. As Perez now will take some time, switch the field over to Gonzalez. Almost teed up with that right foot. Decided to play back, back near midfield to reset and try and get something going here from the back line. Caceres now. Mike Conde Abreu steps onto the pitch for the first time tonight. As a back heel pass a layoff pass. attempt. That was intended for Jiho Lee. Sniffed out at the last second there from the goalkeeper Carlos Reyes. Getting the start tonight. He'll earn his fourth start on the season for the Sol Solis de Sonora Club. Belhaj defending there momentarily. Tayu wins the ball back immediately. And the Sonora Club controlling majority of the possession here so far in the first quarter. Cissé, your captain, defending Tayu. And 
Well done from the Ontario goal, or excuse me, captain. That's going to be a huge challenge for Cissé, as we can see the disadvantage in height uh, for Cissé. But so far, as he's shown, he's not afraid of the challenge. Cissé will play this ball off the near side boards. He'll cough it up momentarily and there he goes. continue to work and lay it off to the far side of Jiho Lee. Jiho Lee is a missed touch there off the left foot. Ball sails up and out of bounds. Restart coming here for the Solis de Sonora. Next home game for your Ontario Fury is... They actually called that. I didn't see that he was behind the line there, Jose. Mm. Defensive clearance called on Jiho Lee. So even more costly of a daft touch there, really, along the far side. And with 8.49 remaining here in the opening quarter, set piece play in prime location for Sonora. To the far side, it works mm. off of the foot of Echeverria. And thankfully steered to the near side boards. Again, and now it is Maikon De Abreu does have... Bell Hodge to the far side and just steered wide was De Abreu looking for a pass. Didn't really get that clear cut passing lane. Decided to shoot himself just wide. And now Sonora on the break. Tayu, the man right down the middle of the pitch if the souls hurry. And now held up momentarily right down. And Tayu nearly, nearly made it 2 nil. A little off balance there was Frank Tayu and up and out of bounds ultimately sailed to the far side. So far, back and forth game. So in this, in this first couple of minutes, and if the Fury unfortunately couldn't get a scoring chance here uh, in, the, in the previous play, but keep at him, keep at him, keep at him is the, game of the, the, is the name of the game. And if you're the Fury, you gotta be lucky enough to find yourself only down one nothing as the Solos of Sonora have been on them all night so far. And it's not any real consistent pressure. It's just possession, picking their spots, taking quality shots when there's no uh, defense from the Ontario Free shown. They pick out their shots with quality. Agent Perez now to Gino Kim. He'll dance around the goalkeeper and just sail it wide. Juan Gonzalez deflected there from the Solis de Sonora. That earns a defensive clearance off the glass, but... Are they calling it a defensive clearance? I don't believe so. It looked like it was clear cut, but we'll see after this timeout comes uh, back to the field. As uh, you're watching Ontario Fury Soccer on MASL TV, catch every game each week on the league's official streaming home, MASL.TV. Jose, I want to remind you and the fans also, get the latest news on the MASL and your favorite teams. Make sure you are following MASL Soccer on Facebook and Instagram and MASL Arena on Twitter as well. Next home game is Wednesday, the January 31st versus the Rio Grande Valley Barracudas. Kickoff set for 7 p.m. It will be trivia and teacher appreciation night at CBBA as the Fury take on the Rio Grande Valley Barracudas for the second time this season. As some... News around the league, the Major Arena Soccer League announced Thursday that the 2018-19 campaign would kick off December 1st, 2018. That would push back the start of the season over a month from previous seasons. Also announced was that the schedule will be expanding to 24 games with each team playing 12 games at home and 12 on the road. The, light, the later start should allow teams more time to market and promote their games after the league schedule is finalized. The later start date should help by avoiding dates around most family holidays, such as Halloween and Thanksgiving, as well as many other conflicting sporting events. So the restart, not a defensive clearance, officially designated from the referee. So Mike Conde Abreu will utilize his other rookie goalkeeper, Jose Miranda. Local product out of the Inland Empire is Miranda. Deep ball sent in from the goalkeeper of the Ontario Fury as Perez will settle down now and get a volley attempt that was deflected. Possession maintaining here in their attacking half. 7-10 remaining here in the opening quarter from Ontario. A little too much of a uh, touch right there from your captain, Cissé. Fresh bodies onto the pitch for Sonora. Gino Kim along the far side. And it looks like the Fury have finally gotten themselves comfortable on the pitch and are getting a series of touches together. And as I say that, they turned it away, of course. <laughs> right? Broadcasters <laughs> jinx, yep. they call that, right? Perez now 
Down the middle of the pitch goes around one defender and then toe poked away defensively from Sonora. And on the break if they hurry, but Perez getting back defensively, back checking for his Fury teammates. A little push off away from the ball and no foul call given there. Defensive clearance is what they, the souls of Sonora Club was signaling, but nonetheless a restart here to the near side. Looking for the Fury, Perez able to get back and clear that play. Man, that set piece play, although it was so far away as there was a challenge up in the air after a bouncing ball. It was a play off the near side boards, Jose. Bounced off perfectly. The Sonora uh, player that was running onto the ball, it was like a one-two pass with yeah. the wall that, that worked out in, in practice, man. We're lucky it's not 2-0, but here we are with the restart with 6.15 here remaining in the opening quarter from Ontario. Volley attempt in the end. It looked a little bit closer from up here. Great technique there from Sonora, but up and out of bounds as the restart coming here for the home team, Ontario Fury. That was Bogar Moreno, the midfielder of the Sonora Club. Deep ball sent in now for Jiho Lee. Off of one defender and a little ping pong action in their attacking third. Ultimately, it's a Sonora ball. And in the previous Sonora attack, it was all due. I mean, some of the Fury players, are. it looks like they're just sort of standing there and, and seeing the plays come at them. That's something that the Solis are not doing. Obviously, they're always constantly on their toe. They're always constantly pressuring. Not the same Fury team that we've seen in the past two games against San Diego. All-time record against Sonora. Your Ontario Fury at 1-5. and five. Great Record run. here at CBBA for Solis, 2-1. and one. Great ball from... The captain, Cisse, did find the newcomer, Belhaj. He's trying to get in the, in the party uh, sooner rather than later, does Belhaj. Well, well, we'll take a deflection and a corner mm -hmm. kick here. As off the restart, De Abreu was deflected, and he'll tip that out to his goalkeeper, Miranda. And now Cisse will play to Gonzalez. And now Charlie Gonzalez in the far side. The ball finds its way to the near side. And now Charlie well, Gonzalez works at 1-2 with Perez. How quickly was that quality shot attempt stopped by the Sonora goalkeeper Reyes? As now Tayu, the beast along the far side for the Solis to Sonora club. More of that if you're the Fury, though. More of that, more give and go, more touching around it. What I love that I'm seeing out of, out of the new acquisition of the Fury of Belash is that he's moving around and creating himself his spaces as Agent Perez trying to get this ball away. And they've caught a foul against him. So late whistle there. Victor Kiros, the Sonora player that drew the foul. 4.35 remaining here in the opening quarter from Ontario, California. So glad he can join us for some Friday night Action here from Citizens Business Bank Arena. Three games on tilt tonight, one of which you are currently watching on MASL.TV. The other, San Diego at Turlock. And the game that already finished up, is that there was a tripping foul along the near side boards. The Blast beat the Harrisburg Heat 4-2. to two. Final score from that game as it took place on the East Coast already wrapped up for the night. A 42 final four the Baltimore Blast. Along the near side for the restart for the Sonora Club. 419 here remaining in the first quarter. Escalante on the restart. That somehow found its way to Moran and boy oh boy did he have to make his that, hands as big as possible as quickly as possible. That was all due to Frank Tayu. He went and started, he stand right next to the wall to cause a little bit of distraction and a space, and that space found himself. But luckily for the Fury, Miranda was there, and he's there again tonight, right now. Yeah, you talk about he's there right now. Uh, Tayu was sniffing and waiting for that ball mm -hmm. to come loose off the hands of the rookie goalkeeper, but not this time as CC now crosses midfield for the Fury. Loses control along the far side, and Gino Kim trying to regain possession, but now here come the soul is the Sonora. Andy Reyes trying to back check defensively for Ontario, and, and man, I, 
it happened so fast right now. Frank Tayu made that look so simple. Yeah. A volley off the far side glass. Came into his wheelhouse again. Shot attempt not there. Rebound attempt was there. And fortunately for Ontario, still remains 1-0. That great player. I mean, his individual play speaks for itself, and we were able to see that in that previous play alone. But like uh, Coach Norbert says, we try to con well, Fury are going to have to try to contain him. You know, he's going to get one or two, but make sure he doesn't get a couple more than that because then you're in trouble. Yeah, with the youngsters here, they're on the team as Jiho Lee now receives that ball from Dea Abreu. Along the near side is the Korean-born Ontario Fury forward. Casera splits defenders and goes to Charlie Gonzalez. Gonzalez maintaining possession, lays it out to Caceres. De Abreu now will fire it back. Caceres, long Ooh. distance shot attempt, nearly poked in on the back end there from Perez. As Perez now regaining possession. And now the newcomer, Belhaj. They'll utilize De Abreu. And now Charlie Gonzalez shoved off of that ball defensively. Gonzalez earned a spot on the MASL Team of the Week. Two games against San Diego. He had three goals and four assists. Now along the far side, no Ontario Fury back defensively. At the end, or in the end, I should say, was whistle play dead from the referees, but it almost looked like that, all, that happened all in slow motion. Jose, I mean, you saw the far side player of the Sonora Club working down the, down the far side, and it almost looked like people were stuck in, in sand or yeah. something, tracking back defensively, but here we are now with the Souls of Sonora Club pushing forward with Moreno. To the far side, shot deflected before it got to the hands of Miranda. Miranda telling the team to settle down. Two minutes remain here in the opening quarter. Kiros intercepts that ball for Sonora. And now along the far side they work. And Jiho Lee trying to create something near midfield. Shoved, shoved off for that ball. Earns the ball back. Close to a foul call. And it is a foul on Lee. And just like that, Brian, a minute and 46 seconds left in the quarter. One quarter almost done. And for the Fury, really haven't seen much from them uh, other than a couple of shots and a couple of plays uh, from Adrian Perez. Uh, you know, we're... It's going to happen when you're, lead, you're missing a couple of your key players. But like uh, Coach Norbert says, he's trying to see a lot more of his young players, and this is the time to do it to, to get some more playing time. Man, what a test this is for all the youngsters that are part of this club. With your key components out for tonight, in Chico Francisco, Cordiero, Leonardo de Oliveira. You look at the leadership that's here. Izzy Cisse, your captain, five-year veteran of this club. And Charlie Gonzalez now considered a vet in his third year. But what a test it is. I mean, these youngsters are definitely have the skill to do so. We'll see if they execute a full four quarters here from Ontario. Yeah, like you mentioned earlier as well, it's just the execution and, and being able to close out a game. You know, that's something that we missed out on in San Diego and cost them the victory down there. Uh, let's see if they were able to get that. But most importantly, to see how they're able to bounce back from a 1-0 deficit here against a really good team of uh, Solis de Sonora. Under a minute now remaining here in the first quarter. As Perez, the lone Ontario Fury, Fury player, applying pressure. Now it's Kiros along the far side. He dances around Kim. And now near midfield, Charlie Gonzalez takes a deflection, lays it off to Perez, left-footed shot attempt. In the end, steered wide. He played that ball outside of the box. No yeah. call there from the referees. Mm. As man, from our vantage point, Jose, it definitely looked like the ball was played outside of the box from Sonora goalkeeper Reyes. 15 seconds now remain here in the opening quarter. Tayu, back heel pass, and a little time winding down as Segura laid it off all the way back to Escalante, but five seconds now, four, three, two. They'll have to get a shot off here from Perez. And at the end of one quarter, it is a one nothing lead up for the Souls of Sonora Club. The second quarter just a few minutes away right here on MASL.TV. The Ontario Fury would like to thank MITRE USA for providing today's match balls. MITRE, founded in Huddersfield, England, is among the world's oldest sporting goods brands starting production in 1817. 
Butter is a proud partner of Major Arena Soccer League, providing arena-specific match balls to both the MASL and MASL2. The MASL and MITRE share a long-term vision to see arena soccer grow in North America. MITRE's Astro Division Ball is the official game ball for MASL League play. MITRE's Astro Division is designed specifically for play on artificial surfaces. It features a more accurate flight than the average ball and has a 30% reduced bounce to make it play more efficiently in arena soccer. You're watching Ontario Fury Soccer on MASL TV. Catch every game each week on the league's official streaming home, MASL.TV. Want to remind you all that there was a uh, there is a jersey auction provided by National Community Renaissance. Together we transform lives and communities. What a great concept it is here as these proud partners of, of your Ontario Fury come in uh, like Casa Kalina and, and National Community Corps Renaissance and uh, Mark Christopher Chevrolet, all these big proud sponsors of the Ontario Fury do these jersey auctions every year. Uh, benefits benefits go to all, uh, you know all these charities across Southern California. Great concept. Everyone participates, and more importantly, for the fans, it's it's getting up close and personal with their favorite players on the pitch. So we'll see that yeah. another auction here tonight as uh, your Ontario Fury right now trailing one nil after one quarter, and the Souls of Sonora Club uh, not looking too much like a threat. I mean, Tayu. Obviously, it is the player that you're going to try and control the most. I thought it was kind of 50-50 in that first quarter. I mean, uh, Ontario, not by any means, did, didn't have as nearly much possession, Jose. Uh, the quality chances, maybe two or three. Yeah. But still, maintaining and the forwards coming back defensively, I think, was big in the, in, during that first quarter as well. So one nothing lead for the Souls this in our club. What can Ontario do differently in the second quarter. Just minimizes mistakes. You know, it's just been simple giveaways in the back. And like you said, they're lucky and to be in this position just down one nothing. Uh, like we said in the, in the, earlier in the broadcast, we're not so happy. I haven't seen so much of movements off the ball and just soccer from the Fury. That's sort of something that they got us spoiled in the last couple of games against uh, San Diego and Tacoma. Not so much here in this game, but if you want to see a lot more, I want to see more of, of Perez. I want to see more of, of what Tino does, right, with the ball against his back against the, uh, the goal. And uh, Adrian has the quality to do so and open up the, the sides and even create his own uh, chances on his own. So let's see, uh, individually speaking, how the, the Fury come out. But if, if you're the Fury, you're lucky. you got to be lucky only down one, not one goal here. So one nothing lead for the Souls of Sonora Club. Starting five in this second quarter. It looks very similar to... The opening quarter, Charlie Gonzalez. Uh, first appearance of Thiago Concalves on the pitch. Nice to see him back on the field. Your captain Izzy Cisse, the rookie Adrian Perez, and along the near side boards, that is the youngster out of Brazil, Maicon de Abreu. Your Ontario Fury working from right to left here in the second quarter. As a team that's really known for, for finishing and scoring goals, the Souls of the Sonora Club. This is a win for head coach Jimmy Nordberg and the Ontario Fury after one quarter of play so far. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, what Thiago could provide. You know, I'm very excited what he does uh, defensively, but even more so offensively. And with uh, adding him on the mix, and uh, we've seen Cisse a lot more in the mix offensively as well too. So we'll see what those two can provide uh, on the defense, but also on the offense. And Chaveria now steers it to the near side. The captain Cisse defending well there. And it finds its way to Echeverria. And what was not really any pressure-filled moment here is now Miranda pounces on that ball for Ontario. So Echeverria creating havoc in their attacking third for the Solis de Sonora Club. That ball is headed up and out of bounds. Restart coming here for your home team, Ontario Fury. Right across midfield. And another positive for the Ontario Fury Club, the veteran Robert Tornell, uh, back in training. Uh, you know, a good sign is that head coach Jimmy Nordberg and Shelby Daly are saying he he's looking just to get back into his normal touch, uh, trying to get in uh, in game shape here. So, a veteran of this team, uh, hopefully, he finds his way onto the pitch before the season ends. He had season-ending surgery just about a year and a half ago. 
And now the Solas de Sonora along the near side. Steered away defensively. That volley attempt is just wide. They continue to apply the pressure. And Miranda, well done off his back line. Gino Kim now trying to settle things down with Caceres. And they'll do so momentarily for the Fury. Jimmy Norberg was also saying about Tayu, you know, maintaining him is one thing. Echeverria and Canez uh, is another thing. As Tayu now along the near side plucks out his teammate, and boy, you know, oh boy, <laughs> they're just not. There's not. They haven't been efficient, Brian. That's that's just what it's pain and simple comes down to. Haven't had the efficiency and the fury. Fortunate to just be down one nothing. Flat-footed and one defender back on that play. Somehow remains out of the net for the Souls of Sonora Club. A still one nothing lead. Just underway here in the second quarter. But I was mentioning Echeverria and Canez. They're, that's your top three in points total for the Souls of Sonora Club. <sighs> Belhaj, a little anxious on that shot opportunity. Didn't get the quality on the laces that he needed to to finish. And it is Sonora controlling near midfield. Now Jiho Lee will play Belhaj. And now De Abreu, 1v1 along the near side. Now 1v2, played off the boards. No one there on the back end. Belhaj trying to get possession there, and maybe he's just figuring out a little bit of the speed yeah. here. Um, a player all the way out from Tunisia. So his first MASL game scouted in that uh, mini World Cup last year in Tunisia in October from team president and, and GM Bernie Lillois. So he saw the talent right away. He was the MVP of that tournament, and here he is a few thousand miles away in uh, Southern California. Gonzalez waiting for that ball as a 50-50 challenge. There's Cisse and one of the Sonora players along the near side. That sound. That was a hard foul, but no for yellow card. That I mean, sound played into mm -hmm. why the Sonora club is so up in arms right now. I didn't see who that player was, Jose. As soon as we find out who's on the floor right now, like you said, it was a 50-50 challenge. If that's an outdoor challenge, he's on the turf, rolls around, and gets right back up. But not the case here inside the MASL. 205 by 85 are the dimensions here. A full ice hockey rink field for the home team Ontario Fury. They share the friendly confines with the home team Ontario Reign the AHL affiliate of the NHL LA Kings. But here we are, there was a foul along the near side boards. Your captain Izzy Cisse makes sure that that player is okay. He's up right now with head athletic trainer Shelby Daly. And going back on Belhaj, you know, like, just like in any level of soccer, it takes a time for you to go ahead and get your rhythm going. And especially when you go ahead and join a new team, it's going to take a time for him to get settled here. Uh, but what I like, what I do like so far from seeing him is that he's moving around. He's moving around and he's trying to create those chances. You saw the shot that he took that went just wide. Hey, take it. You know, those are the kind of goals that sometimes you just don't know that when you do hit him, they end up finding the back of the net somehow. So, so far, I like what I've seen so far from, from this young player from, uh, of the Fury. Uh, it's been, it's gonna, you're going to have to take time to tell if the acquisition is going to be uh, right for the Fury or not. But so far, uh, very excited for the new player, very excited for the Fury. It's going to be a great 12 minutes of this uh, remaining quarter, and let's see if the Ontario could get back uh, uh, into the score. So the Sonora Club player is down on the bench. Forgive me, I did not see the number of which player it was. But with now under 12 minutes remaining here in the second quarter, is a restart here coming for the Souls of Sonora Club. As Reyes now will play the ball for the Souls of Sonora. Deep ball sent into the, to the far side. Defended there from Concalvis. And now Kim and now Cisse. And you can tell what the workload is here for Cisse and Concavis. Just shut down uh, Frank on top, and that's just pretty much the game plan for them tonight. And uh, we see that on one side, Cisse doesn't have the height. Tiago's a pretty big boy, and he should be able to bottom him up uh, 
uh, Frank up top. Reyes now near that uh, edge of the box there. Mm. No call, again, given. As play continues. Great defensive move by Kim. And now Miranda looking for some options and then at the last second plucks out Reyes up top for the Fury. Defensively headed out from the Sonora Club. A restart coming along the near side boards for your Fury. 10.50 now remaining here in the first half. Reyes now defended by two Sonora players and switches the field there to Lee. Tayu intercepts that ball for Sonora. And now Reyes mm. trying to maintain possession. Mm. Stopped there at the last second. A foul call given from the referees along the far side. Perez, the man standing over the ball on the set piece play to restart. Yeah, you know, and that, if anything, would look like more of a yellow card than the previous play of the Fury. But if you're Frank uh, for the Solos de Sonora, you have to do that foul. If not, he had a clear pass for the running player running in, making the run uh, for a clear path to goal. But it's a free kick for uh, the Fury here, and he's going to call a timeout. Yeah. You know, that, I, I love it when these players call timeout here uh, in set pieces because they know the importance of these set pieces. You could get one back, and it's easily a tie game. So it's going to see what they discuss here. It's 10.32 left in the game, uh, and if you're the Fury, you're privileged to be in this situation. So 10.32 remaining here in the first half. Now let's not take away, and I understand what, the point you're trying to make, Jose, but they've done enough yeah. to be where they're at at 1-0. You have to have always a little bit of luck uh, during any MASL game, really. Uh, but head coach Jimmy Nordberg and, and his coaching staff have done a done a great job to prepare these guys mentally, uh, to prepare these guys physically with head athletic trainer Shelby Daly getting the boys in, in good shape as well. But I would like to see a little bit more from the Ontario Fury, yes. Yeah. But defensively, they'll have to clean it up. Like you touched on at the beginning of the second quarter, it, a, a, a few miscues early on in that quarter, maybe some nerves, some jitters for the new players. Nonetheless, a 1-0 game here with uh, plenty of time remaining in this contest and even more so in this first half to tie things up, possibly take the lead at the end of the half here. And uh, we'll see what happens as uh, you're starting five after the set P or the timeout. It is Caceres, Perez, Kim, Reyes, and Juan Gonzalez along the far side. The injured player of that um, foul or tangle up with Izzy Cisse was Kiros. of Sonora, so he looked like he was helped off of the pitch and looks like he's gonna be okay. Perez now off of that set piece play and it's a 1-1 game here from Ontario. You know, I just said it, I love it when they take timeouts for these set pieces and this is exactly why. You know, you dry it on the chalkboard, you dry it down, and, hey, I wanna make this pieces and they have a number of set plays set throughout the week and practice and they are, this is exactly why you practice practice them throughout the week. It's 1-1 one, one Fury, it's a great strike, and it was a matter of time. It only took two seconds for my statement to, to uh, become a fruition here. Yeah. As it's a 1-1 one, one game, we watched the instant replay on the Casa Kalina instant replay on the big board, and an overlapping run, if you will, from Perez, and after that, it was a strike off of that powerful left foot. He knows what to do so far and finds the back of the net for his 15th goal on the season and his 20th point of the season as well. So a 1-1 game here from CBBA. So Caceres officially with the assist on that play. A wonderful draw and play call from the coaching staff of your Ontario Fury, Thales Peterson and Jimmy Nordberg. A little one-two, and Miranda swallows that ball into his mitts. Looking for a deep threat here in Kim, and that's sniffed out momentarily from Sonora. Trying to settle things down here is Belhaj, and that, that ball actually finds its way to Kim along the far side. Tangled up for a second. Referee says play on. Under 10 minutes now remaining here in the first half. Tayu defended by two Fury players. He lays the ball back. Along the far side 
They work and Cissé now back heel defensively clears it for a split second. Off of the right foot that almost found the upper 90 along the far side. And collecting again is Sonora. And now 1v1 to the near side that's steered off the fingertips. And now Belhaj on the break. If he hurries, he does have a two on one with Gonzalez. He'll use his Oof. right foot and then the rebound. Gonzalez could have steered that into the Hit net, but just, just wide. Gonzalez fires away. Fingertip save off the hands of Reyes. And then Gonzalez trying to create a little bit more havoc here for your home team, Ontario Fury. Boy, Jose, quality chances there as there's a whistle near midfield. Quality chances there. We asked for a little something more from Ontario. I think we're getting it here in the second quarter. Oh, yeah, something that Coach Jimmy Norbrook said during that timeout has sparked the offense. But I love what I saw from Bill Josh. You know what he did? That shot, what he, he kind of knew that that shot probably had no uh, op opportunities of going in, but he saw the player coming in and that opportunity of getting a touchback was going to be there. Great, uh, great shot and just great soccer IQ. Reyes with a deflection into the shooting lane along the far side as Reyes will carry all the way up near midfield. And Kiros back on the pitch for Sonora. So nice to see him back on the field for the Souls to Sonora Club. So glad you can join us here on a Friday night from Ontario, California. My name is Brian Tabaje alongside Jose Oof. Duran. Kiros now along the near side. Almost gets redemption there for Sonora, but they maintain possession. Now into the shooting lane is Maicon De Abreu. De Abreu plays the ball high off the glass and settled down, and now Echeverria has some time and no quality shot attempt there given. Well done from Andy Reyes defending for the Fury. Tie you on the little touch there and cleared out defensively, and things will reset here with 7.45 remaining in the first half. It took a quarter and a couple, about seven minutes for both of these teams to get in the, in the rhythm. Uh, we see the Fury a lot more comfortable, but in the last sequence, so do the, uh, the Solos of Sonora. Well done Great from ball. the Ricky Gold Cup keeper Miranda to sniff that ball out as defensively that's inside the box and dealt with there is Taiyu now the head man up for Sonora. He'll play it to Echeverria and he'll let loose. That shot is saved there from the goalkeeper Miranda. Corner kick for the Sonora Club as. Well, you see that connection of Tayu and Echeverria. It could be lethal. That's why they're one of the most lethal uh, uh, offensive counterparts in the league. And we see why they're, but great save by Miranda. He's been magnificent tonight. Well done from Caceres, playing off of his line there defensively. Concalves now will have to work quickly here. Echeverria with the pressure for Solas de Sonora. And now fouled up there, tangled up. And man, Echeverria and Concalves going back and forth. And yeah. it looks like it'll be a foul on your home team, Ontario Fury, if the call stands, at least what it was shown there along the near side. Yeah, they're both tangled on the floor, but it looked like Thiago was fouled. The ref calls nothing, and on the time on the floor, he took down the player. It always, it's always the reactionary foul that gets called, yeah. right? The initial foul that's usually typically a foul gets called or doesn't get called and then the reaction off of that non-foul call usually gets called. Shot off the near side or the far side glass is deflected and then Caceres now for Ontario is trying to head it forward. De Abreu, the closest Fury player, Kiros will switch the ball. Not really too much of a foul there, but a foul call given right near midfield. A restart coming here for the visitors. 6.47 remaining here in the first half. A lot of times you don't like the ref to be calling fouls. Kind of stops the rhythm of the game. And uh, for both teams so far, it's been a clean game. A 1-1 score all tied up here from Ontario, California. Deep ball sent in for Tayu along the far side boards. Dealt with from De Abreu and disrupted there along the far side. Charlie Gonzalez will utilize Ooh. the glass. And he, I think he almost thought that was one of his own teammates there, but ball given away from Gonzalez. 
As like I mentioned at the, the top of the broadcast, Jose, it's, it's a little strange that they would wear their whites. They do have their maroon, predominantly maroon kits that they've worn here in Citizens Business Bank Arena, but tonight they elected to go white and maybe a little mix-up or confusion there from Charlie Gonzalez. Nonetheless, no harm done, thankfully. 545 remaining here in the first half. Deep ball sent in for Kim. Gathers and collects and then very quickly intercepted. But the ball finds its way to Perez and Perez tripped up there, no foul. Sonora streaking right down the middle of the pitch to the far side, they work. Off of the left foot, rebound given up. And a little mix up there between two Fury players. The ball remains with Canez and now Tayu. Cisse doing, doing a brilliant Cisse. job defensively, clears the zone and gets the reset and regroup for a split second here as Sonora trying to get back in there attacking third. 5.05 remains, a little one two along the near side. Fanned on and then found its way to Gonzalez. Perez trying to get. Pass one defender, disrupted there from Sonora. Oh, I'm not sure about that call <laughs> now. Segura and Reyes. And look at Cheveria, he's on top of the, of the, I mean, of the stand. That might be a makeup, at the ref. That might be a makeup call for one it's of the calls that they missed earlier, but that, was, that, that definitely was not a foul. Nonetheless, just shoulder to shoulder. Segura dropping to the turf and Earning a foul call here. Reyes and Perez, the two-man wall just five yards away. Yeah, so far, the, uh, sometimes the refs go based on uh, what they hear on the bench, too, and the reactions they get in. So far, every time a uh, uh, Solos of Sonora player is on the ground, uh, there's a reaction from the bench, and hey, kudos to them. They got a foul uh, on their favor, and uh, that's always a good part, uh, a good sign if you're uh, playing offense. Tayu and Cisse tangled along the far side. Tayu wins that race. Plays it off the boards. No one on the back end uh, for Sonora. <laughs> along the near side, they continue to work and then a tangle up. Uh, you know, if the referees are then a call this close of the game, I would like to see a little bit more physicality between the two players before something is actually called. There's no slight to the referees. If they want to call a tight game, I'm just saying... There's very little physical yeah. contact before a whistle is blown. Let's see if there's any adjustments here with 431 remaining in the first half. Sonora on the restart, they'll call a timeout along the near side. Yes, 431 remains here in the first half, a 1-1 game. With that much time remaining in the first half, Jose, what are you telling your Fury players to close out this first half? Well, first I gotta tell them that I gotta give kudos to them and and where credit is deserved. And they've played a good, solid second quarter after a sort of uh, mixy first half that they played of, of 12 minutes of soccer. Really didn't find themselves offensively going, uh, but they found themselves uh, defensively now. And I love the, uh, when the Solos de Sonora are creating a counterattack. They're all getting back. You see Adrian Perez running from the offense if he loses the ball, getting all the way back defensively. But for the next four minutes and 31 seconds, I want to see the pressure up. I want to see them cause more uh, mix-ups and giveaways from the Solos de Sonora. And that's how you get uh, ahead in this game. And right as you're saying that, Jose, I'm looking down on the field with, with head coach Jimmy Nordberg and his boys. And he's really showing defensive positioning uh, with, uh, as something they need to pick up and work on the rest of the half. So you hit it right on the head there, partner. And um, with 431 remaining... A 1-1 game. Things getting a little little heated. Mm -hmm. um, a, a little, uh, uh, you know, a, a, little, a little friendly back and forth. Referees calling a tight game the last couple of minutes here. But let's see how uh, this half finishes as Sonora with a set-piece play opportunity here along the near side. Was well, Kiros who was standing over the ball, and it looks like he'll, he will restart along with Echeverria. Waiting for the rest of the players here. And finally, everyone is on the pitch. Kiros, man standing over the ball for Souls de Sonora. It's dangerous here. On the restart, down the middle of the pitch, defended there. That was Segura who got that ball out defensively. Charlie Gonzalez, this is not a good sign. If he stays on the field, it looks like he almost got a Charlie horse. No. No unintended, unintended here to Charlie Gonzalez, but it looks like he had a Charlie horse right to the leg, and he's pleading his case to the referees. 
No foul call was given as referee is letting Charlie know to, he needs to hop off the field. Important for the free players not to get in that game and where you're constantly uh, going at the ref, yelling at them and calling for fouls. Uh, just pick your game, pick your soccer. The fouls are, the calls are gonna come one way or another, but if you just go ahead and stick to your play and not let it get to yourself, soccer, you know, it's a mental game sometimes and hopefully for the for the Fury, they stay ahead of that and uh, they'll, ho they'll hopefully get a good result tonight. Yeah, it's one thing that you just touched on, Jose. Mentally, this is a very young team, so no doubt about it. The mental part is the most challenging part for most players, indoor and outdoor. And here we are with one of the stars of the Ontario Fury finds his way to the bench after drawing a foul call, but nonetheless a restart that didn't do any harm in the end. Perez off the top of his head. That ball will find its way to Reyes, the goalkeeper for Sonora. And now Echeverria does have an overlapping run to the top of the pitch. That is Segura. And he finds the back of the net for the souls of Sonora. Excuse me, that is Aragon who found the back of the net. Give the assist to Echeverria. You know, those, those are the mistakes that happen once you go ahead and send players forward. The Fury are looking to get something going on a counterattack that sent one, two players forward. And unfortunately for the Fury, that clearance from the Solos of Sonora landed right to an offensive player who finds the back of the net with a beautiful shot in its 2 1 Souls. So the Sonora Club makes Ontario pay in the end after trying to push, like you said, on a counterattack. And 3.45 remains here in. The first half from Citizens Business Bank Arena. So glad you can join us right here on MASL.TV. My name is Brian Tabajay alongside Jose Duran here in the booth from the Inland Empire. Lima trying to disrupt the passing lane there from Reyes, the goalkeeper of Sonora. Deep ball sent in and De Abreu is going to have to play it off the glass again and skies this ball out of harm's way. A very young, young squad out there right now for Ontario. Lima, De Abreu, foul call in the end. But it's Lima and De Abreu, along with Belhaj on the pitch. Caceres and Gonzalez, the veterans, if you will. Jose on for Ontario. 3-10 remaining here in the first half. A 2-1 lead for the Solis de Sonora Club. Second place in the Southwest Division at 8-6 overall. The Fury trying to break, again, that 500 mark. They've been back and forth like a seesaw. Yeah. Uh, going up a, ge a game above 500 and then losing a couple in a row and then winning another game. And here we are at 7-7 seven and seven overall. Charlie Gonzalez on the field. Overlapping run didn't come to fruition there as De Abreu was trying to make that run. They'll maintain possession as Caceres now at 235. Remaining left-footed. Shot attempt nearly tickled the twine there. And Caceres, man, what an attempt outside the yellow line. Unfortunately, just an inch too high on that attempt. The defensive clearance was called. So with 232 remaining, set piece play and a quality spot here. This is huge for the Fury. Charlie Gonzalez, Adrian Perez on the pitch. They'll lay it off to the far side. Caceres at a steep angle there. Not really the threatening shot attempt. Nonetheless, a decent strike there from Caceres, excuse me, along the far side. But here we go with Ontario. Perez right down the middle of the pitch. 2.15 remaining here in the first half. Cissé, your captain, trying to get the ball to the middle. And that's broken up there for the Solis de Sonora. For the counter. Charlie Gonzalez again along the far side. To the near side, it works to Cissé. And now Perez. The rookie's having quite a season in his first of the MASL. Concalves dancing around one defender. Oof. Nearly got that near side. Shot attempt out the left foot of Cissé, no good. We'll maintain possession here. Nice little minute, minute and a half here working for the Ontario Fury. Another. Defensive clearance, I thought. That's what Thiago was, uh, was asking for, and it looked like that the ref was gonna 
go ahead and talk to his counterpart. Minute 34 remaining in the first half. No defensive clearance awarded. Perez finding Gino Kim, saving the game so far from Reyes. That happened in about one and a half seconds. A Perez. Dancing around midfield. Reyes now for Ontario. Tried to line it up. Two Sonora players in the shooting lane this time. A minute 15 remaining here in the first half. Belhaj now along the near side. Tried to work it around one defender. And Sonora will maintain possession here near midfield. Coughed up momentarily and then stolen here from Reyes. Reyes will work. Lays it off to Concolvis. Deflected. That ball I thought was in a stay in bounds for a second. Went sky high in front of that net. Restart coming here for the home team, Ontario Fury, on a corner kick. That was Adu to Belhaj. His hustle of getting that ball back created that play. And now Dea Breu takes a deflection, but in the hands of the Sonora goalkeeper, Reyes, 42 seconds remain here in the first half. Two to one they lead, the Solace Sonora Club. Not really threatening too much. I should be careful what I ask for here as Tayu now earns that ball back. A left footed shot attempt is just over the top of the net. Right as I'm saying it, a play's developing offensively for the Souls. So maybe I'll just <laughs> I'll just end that statement there. We'll move on with 29.3 remaining here in the first half. But you're right, Brian. We really haven't seen much of uh, soccer, if you if you say, from the Solas of Sonora. Uh, luckily enough, they've able to be on top of the, of the score with an early goal and a goal they got here in the second quarter. But other than that, not much soccer play from the, from the folks in Sonora. Belhaj swarmed there defensively from the Sonora Club. All the way up. No one back defensively for Tayu. And with 7.9 seconds left, it's a 3-1 to one lead for the Sulis to Sonora. Yep, and a player like Frank Tayu does not need uh, a well-driven play. He does not need soccer to be pretty. He needs just one opportunity to put it in the back of the net. And that's exactly what he just did. And by the way he celebrated that goal, you could tell he's been wanting it. And he knows he's capable of doing that. What a shot. And it's 3-1 as well as a Sonora. I was waiting for the official assist. And it was Moreno as he earns his 10th assist on the season. And his 44th goal. Frank Tayu makes it 3-1. Solas de Sonora. Now three seconds and two. Now one. A long distance shot attempt won't count if it went. But at the half, it is a three to one game as the visitors from Sonora, Mexico come into the Inland Empire here in the first half. A three to one lead for the Solas de Sonora. Jose, second half should be interesting to say the least. Nearly a sellout crowd here from Citizens Business Bank Arena. So glad you can join us right here on MASL.TV, second half of action, just moments away. We'll be back on MASL.TV. why I'm a proud sponsor of the Fury Soccer Team. Get into Dave & Buster's for the coolest cocktails around. Glow cones, Loco Ritas, Berry Blocks, Tiki Drinks, and more. Go to dbspecials.com for specials that are too good to put on TV. Only one place has all these cool cocktails and weekday specials. Dave & Buster's. Hey Fury fans, this is Bernie Lovat, president of Your Ontario Fury, and I have a special guest here. This is Chad from AmeriFirst Financial Ontario. Welcome aboard. We have a brand new partner with the Fury family. How you doing, Chad? I'm doing great, Bernie. Why How don't you, you doing? Tell, good, excellent. Why don't you tell the fans a little bit about what AmeriFirst Financial does? Well, AmeriFirst Financial is a family-owned mortgage company uh, here to service all of your mortgage needs. Whether you're purchasing or refinancing a home, we're the bank you want to talk to. Awesome. Well, welcome to the Fury family, and to welcome you, we got a jersey for you. So awesome. here you go, you can drop the ball. We're not gonna sign you to the team anytime soon. But here's the jersey, what are you trying to say? here's the jersey for you. Congratulations, awesome. so welcome. You. Why don't you, you put that on? Absolutely. 
I also got a little something for you too, Bernie. All right. Mayor cool. First Hat. Mayor First Hat. So you can reach us at OntarioFury.com or check us out on social media at Ontario Fury. Where can they reach you? Uh, Bernie, you guys can reach me at uh, C. Kaufman at AmeriFirst.us uh, or you can reach me at 909-612-8600. Welcome to the Fury family. Go Fury. That's right, baby. All right, buddy. Thank you, Bernie. Hey, Fury fans. Are you looking at refinancing or purchasing a home? Please stop by our booth to learn how we can lower your rate or learn what it takes to purchase your dream home. Stop by today to get a free appraisal. Go Gary! Hi, my name is Bernie Lillivoit, team president of Your Ontario Fury. We've got our youth summer soccer camp program. This is our fourth year doing it. We run these camps for 12 weeks throughout the entire summer, ages four through 16. We work on individual skills, small-sided games, fakes and moves, a little bit on defense, but I'm an offensive guy, so we teach them scoring goals and shooting. Just go to our website and we have plenty of information on all our youth programs, ontariofury.com. Hi, my name is Bernie Lillivoy, team president of the Ontario Fury. We've got some really great opportunities for you to get involved with our team. We're looking for some community partners. That's right, we're gonna be celebrating five years this fall and we need your help. You wanna find out more information on how to help us out? You can contact me at 909-457-0252 or the easiest way to get in touch with me is shoot me an email, info at ontariofury.com. Go Fury, we need your support. At US Bank, we believe one small change can echo throughout an entire community. That's why we proudly support, invest, and volunteer in communities like yours. Because the changes we make today Can you hear me? Shape the possibilities of tomorrow. U.S. Bank, the power of possible.
why I'm a proud sponsor of the Fury Soccer Team. to Dave & Buster's for the coolest cocktails around. Glow cones, Loco Ritas, Berry Blocks, Tiki Drinks, and more. Go to dbspecials.com for specials that are too good to put on TV. Only one place has all these cool cocktails and weekday specials. Dave & Buster's. Get in to Dave and Are you looking at refinancing or purchasing a home? Please stop by our booth to learn how we can lower your rate or learn what it takes to purchase your dream home. Stop by today to get a free appraisal. Go Fury! Hey Fury! Hi, my name is Bernie Lillivoit, team president of Your Ontario Fury. We've got our youth summer soccer camp program. This is our fourth year doing it. We run these camps for 12 weeks throughout the entire summer, ages four through 16. We work on individual skills, small-sided games, fakes and moves, a little bit on defense, but I'm an offensive guy, so we teach them scoring goals and shooting. Just go to our website and we have plenty of information on all our youth programs, ontariofury.com. Hi, my name is Bernie Lillivoit, team president of the Ontario Fury. We've got some really great opportunities for you to get involved with our team. We're looking for some community partners. That's right, we're gonna be celebrating five years this fall and we need your help. You wanna find out more information on how to help us out? You can contact me at 909-457-0252 or the easiest way to get in touch with me is shoot me an email, info at ontariofury.com. Go Fury, we need your support. At US Bank, we believe one small change can echo throughout an entire community. That's why we proudly support, invest, and volunteer in communities like yours. Because the changes we make today... Can you hear me? ...shape the possibilities of tomorrow. U.S. Bank, the power of possible.
why I'm a proud sponsor of the Fury Soccer Team. For the coolest cocktails around, glow cones, loco ritas, berry blocks, tiki drinks, and more. Go to dbspecials.com for specials that are too good to put on TV. Only one place has all these cool cocktails and weekday specials. Dave and Buster's. Get in. Hey Fury fans, this is Bernie Lova, president of Your Ontario Fury, and I have a special guest here. This is Chad from AmeriFirst Financial Ontario. Welcome aboard. We have a brand new partner with the Fury family. How are you doing, Chad? I'm doing great, Bernie. Why How are you, you doing? Tell, good, excellent. Why don't you tell the fans a little bit about what AmeriFirst Financial does? Well, AmeriFirst Financial is a family-owned mortgage company uh, here to service all of your mortgage needs. Whether you're purchasing or refinancing a home, we're the bank you want to talk to. Awesome. Well, welcome to the Fury family, and to welcome you, we got a jersey for you. So awesome. here you go, you can drop the ball. We're not gonna sign you to the team anytime soon. But here's a jersey, what are you trying to say? Here's a jersey for you. Congratulations, awesome. so thank welcome, you, why don't you, you put that on? Absolutely. I also got a little something for you too, Bernie. All right. Cool. Mayor first hat. Mayor first. Are you looking at refinancing or purchasing a home? Please stop by our booth to learn how we can lower your rate or learn what it takes to purchase your dream home. Stop by today to get a free appraisal. Go Fury! Hey Fury fans, are you looking at refinancing or purchasing a home? Please stop by our booth to learn how we can lower your... Good evening and welcome back inside Citizens Business Bank Arena. So glad you can join us for some MASL.TV action here from the Inland Empire. My name is Brian Tabajay alongside my broadcast partner Jose Duran inside the booth. Want to remind you fans, Tonight's jerseys will be auctioned off immediately after the game tonight. Proud sponsor, National Community Core Renaissance Together, we transform lives and communities through their Hope Through Housing Foundation. Well, Jose, we saw some action in that first half, not on the Fury side as far as finishes, a three to one lead here for the Souls of Sonora Club. Maybe the new black kits will, will do some wonders for the Ontario Three. Not that they played a bad first half, just minor adjustments that your home team Ontario have to home team Ontario Fury have to make here in the second half to cut into this deficit. What do you think they need to do here at the start of this uh, third quarter? Well, like you mentioned, it was a great start of switching the jerseys as there was a bit of confusion. I mean, from our part of the broadcast up here, I can only imagine how it was on the pitch. But if you're the Fury, just keep on pressuring on top and get possession. If you want to have a successful game, you have to be on their side of the pitch and have possession for most of the game and not let it be the other way around. Miranda playing well off of his back line. Trying to disrupt Frank Tayu's possession there. As now H of area along the near side, steered to the boards from your captain Izzy Cisse. And now Perez will utilize his captain. He'll switch the field to Kim. So black kits in this second half, working from left to right here in the third quarter. Just underway live here from Ontario, California. A little hookup from Caceres. And now the Solis de Sonora Club trying to make them pay. Frank Tayu lets loose and an easy save in the end. That's the quality that he needed there to beat the rookie goalkeeper Miranda on that attempt. 20 shots for the home team Ontario Fury in that first half, 18 for the visitors out of Mexico. Perez now going 1v1, goes around one defender and off the heel and hand of the goalkeeper Reyes of the Sonora Club. And now to the near side, it works. Defended there is Aragon from the youngster, De Abreu from Brazil. And De Abreu will win that battle momentarily. Tayu now off of the giveaway and he finishes. He turns and just so much pace on that finish for Tayu. Second goal of the game tonight, a 4-1 lead for the Souls de Sonora. Yeah, just very unfortunate for Michael De Abreu. He does everything right defensively up into the last second when he gives the ball away. You just cannot have those mistakes in this type of game and in general in the game of soccer. You give up a mistake defensively like that in that part of the pitch, they're going to make you pay it. The Souls de Sonora have made the Fury pay it tonight. Tai with his 45th goal, 50th point, excuse me, 51st point of the season. 
as he just turned and fired away and Miranda tried to make the save, just too much heat on that finish. And it's a four to one lead. Let's see if the Fury can dig into this deficit here in the third quarter as Concalvis settles things down for the home team. Deep ball sent in for the youngster, De Abreu. Played well from Reyes, the goalkeeper for Sonora. He'll play it off the near side walls, defended there from Cisse. And Trias was the Sonora player trying to disrupt Cisse on that play. And now Caceres steers it to the near side for Lima. Lima playing it off that board and in the end ultimately finds the way to the hands of Reyes, the goalkeeper for Sonora. Now caught in between no man's land is Miranda. And luckily, defensively, Gino Kim did enough there, Jose, to disrupt any potential shot attempt from Aragon, who's already on the score sheet tonight with a goal himself. Yeah, just more from the Solis of Sonora in the second half. Yep, there it is, than what we see in the Fury. And well, you can't, on that specific play though, Jose, you can not really defend that much better. It's luckily that little fine line didn't ping pong its way into the back of the net. I mean, Ontario was back defensively. Fortunately for them, it worked out to perfection on that play. Let's loose. And then Ooh. wow, oh wow. Should have been a four goal lead off the foot of one of the Sonora players. I think he was just caught in a little bit of shock there. That's really wide open. Yeah, and if you're was, uh, if you're the the solo just scenario scratching your head and had it not go in. You could have literally sort of put the game away to save with that shot. And for the Fury, you're still in it. It's only a three goal deficit. And as you and I both know, and as the, these Furies know from last game, a three goal lead is could evaporate in a couple seconds. Here we are with Perez and now can call Ooh. this. And off the glass and Sonora now on the break. Echeverria defended by the captain. C say that ball jumps out of bounds. Restart coming here for your Ontario Fury. Ontario Fury soccer driven by Mark Christopher Chevrolet. Big Dan ball. Bray who plays Perez. He lets it run all the way to the wall, touch off the wall, and Dan Bray who now will lay it off to Gonzalez. He'll fake a right-footed shot attempt, trying to go around one defender, and no shot attempt in the end on that play for Ontario. Yeah, not the best option for Charlie Gonzalez to go ahead and make that fake and try to cut to the right. The defender was uh, well placed defensively and it uh, probably should have taken that shot, that first shot attempt and not uh, extend the play. And the Fury, if you're, like I said, just keep the pressure. If you're looking at the players on the pitch right now, they're just sort of just jogging around and not applying the same pressure that we saw against the Soccers last week and the week before here in Sinister's Business Bank Arena. Ten and a half remaining. Frank Tai utilizing his big body to shield the ball. Some frustration, not only from yeah. the Fury plays, but the Fury fans specifically on that possession for Tayu, just killing time along alongside the near side boards and, and really utilizing that frame. Draws a foul, restart coming here for Echeverria and the Sonora Club as now under 10 and a half remaining here in the third quarter from Citizens Business Bank Arena. A little embellishment there from Echeverria yeah. on that last little push in the back too. Uh, trying to draw a little bit more more from the referees as that first half was pretty tightly called in that last, I would say, five, maybe six, seven minutes of that second quarter, Jose. And here we are with 10 minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Gino Kim applying all the pressure here. Reyes well off his back line near midfield. The goalkeeper for Sonora. Deep ball sent into the far side corner for Tayu, and that's handled there from Charlie Gonzalez. His brother Jose on the pitch for the first time tonight. And now Kim will utilize him call this. 9.35 remaining here in the third quarter of play from Ontario. Perez lets the ball bounce off the near side boards again. Dea Bray will settle things down near the, the yellow line. Can call this now. Worked bad a little one-two, a little bit of a bad touch there from Jose Gonzalez. And now Sonora trying to work and can call this intercepts. Gonzalez along the far side. Does that Perez right down the middle of the field? Decides to go 1v1 and now to De Abreu. 
Didn't get a shot attempt off there. They're trying to set it up a little too perfectly to get any quality shot attempt. I understand going around the shooting lane, but trying to set it up too perfectly sometimes will be, uh, you know, the bad part of trying to get the quality shot attempt off. But let's see here as Perez works 1v1, lays it off to Cisse. Cisse now to Gonzalez along the near side. That is Juan Gonzalez. <laughs> And now your captain, Cisse, goes around Tayu. Works Great a one, two. <laughs> Nearly got that ball back in a shot attempt. Tayu. Now deep ball sent in for Tayu. Played off of his shoulder. And the referee finally actually calls that a little it's too close. It's to so hard there. to contain a player like Tayu. He creates something out of nothing, like you just saw on that play. But the Fury in the last sequence of uh, offensive uh, of play for the Fury, you want to see more of that. Get more on the field. Give the give and go. Has Cisse more involved? And if you're the Fury, you just got to get more quality shots on goal. Like we saw uh, Charlie uh, Gonzalez not getting a shot on goal in that play. And here come the Fury. Hopefully they can change that here. And now Kim will tee it up himself. Man, he had a plenty of real estate there, Jose, to get a threatening attempt off. And now Lima, after Ontario regains possession. Along the near side, mixed up is Kim and one of the defenders of Sonora. And now Gonzalez will let loose, and that's defender from Kiros. Shove in the back and foul on Ontario again. 7.52 remaining here in the third quarter of play. So glad you can join us right here on MASL.TV. And that's just been unfortunate for the Fury all year long, hit with the injury bug of if it's not one or two key players, it's three, or if it's not three, it's one. And it's very unfortunate. They don't get a call there for the Fury. Mm. And, uh, you know, the referee so far, and then, then, then a, and then they're going to call a foul after the fact. Gino Kim, rightfully so, has the reason to be upset. I couldn't agree more about 20 seconds earlier than that foul call. Uh, he was taking it up along the far side board, something that they they're not calling and then the reactionary foul as I said in the first half is what has been called so far tonight deep ball sent in now for the leading goal scorer of Sonora finds Echeverria and they'll settle things down near midfield 720 remains here in the third quarter of play a 4 to 1 Sonora lead Tayu scoring in the early moments of that third quarter you know, and, and, and it's one thing. I see Tayu kind of slow down there. No foul call was given. Showing a little frustration as what Perez now. touch. Off the touch of Gonzalez. Tried to get it into that far side corner. That was deflected from the defenders. Now 2v2 if they track back. Bad ball played off the far side boards. But I was saying, I was trying to get to a point here, Jose. And with 6.45 remaining here in the third quarter, players are now starting to show frustration from the calls and non-calls from the referees like you said mental mental yep. game is soccer and uh the fury the young fury players they're gonna have to mentally check themselves to really make a debt into this deficit here as cc settle things down and resets with his rookie goalkeeper miranda and surprisingly enough no penalties recorded yet for either team so if you're the Fury player, like you mentioned, if off the young players, you got to be happy about that, that so far uh, it hasn't gotten into their heads what the Solis and Sonora players are trying to do. Well, thankfully so, because the Sonora is great on the penalty kill and even better on the power play. Ontario was, they did well on the power play for a good majority of the season. Kind of dropped off a little bit in the last couple of games, but still decent on the penalty kill as well. Dangerous giveaway. Bad ball from Reyes. As Sonora now streaking out near midfield. Reyes trying to redeem himself here. Continues to play defense and then loses the ball. Miranda saves his teammate Reyes after that shot attempt off the foot of Canez. Canez, one of the players that head coach Jimmy Nordberg wanted to maintain so far. Echeverria with the assists. Canez not on the stat sheet yet, thankfully for Ontario, a four to one lead. This third quarter really flying by, Jose. A lot of action in this third quarter. Ontario's gonna have to dive into this deficit here before the fourth quarter starts, just a few minutes away. Kim now 
right now in the middle of the pitch, and now Concalves switches the field to Perez, and now Gonzalez, Concalves. Zone defense here shown from the Sonora Club, and a, a defensive shell that's yeah. really it's great uh, that that's that's worked out so far because they don't have to do much to get in these shooting lanes. And Jose Gonzalez just a few inches away from making another shot attempt here is the referees. Are huddling on a foul against the Fury here. Unofficially, it's a it's a timeout on the field. Mm. Now the referees finally signal. Other scores on the MASL scoreboard tonight. Final between the Harrisburg Heat and Baltimore Blast. The Blast, four to two over the Heat. And so far, up north in Turlock, the San Diego Soccer's at 11 and two overall. Battling with the Turlock Express. Express really containing them well. A three to one Soccer's lead for San Diego. As we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, Jose, Ontario looked Great in San Diego. Adrian Perez with a hat trick for the young squad. All tied up at the start of the fourth quarter and then ultimately shut out in that fourth quarter. Man, you play a quality game like that, you were up 3-0, then you were down, then you came back and tied it. Get shut out in the fourth quarter. A big, big learning lesson for this young core. Uh, let's see if they can again challenge themselves, rise to the occasion here. 438 remains in the third quarter, a four to one Solis to Sonora lead. What do you say to your team here if you're head coach Jimmy Nordberg coming out of a timeout? You know, uh, uh, like we mentioned as well, they're fortunate that they're in this position. So if you're head coach Jimmy Nordberg, you just got to let them keep going at them. Keep going at them and shoot, 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 because we haven't seen much of that from the field. We haven't seen clear paths at goal. Shots have been there, but not clear opportunities that have made the goalkeeper work. Charlie Gonzalez, your Fury player to restart out of the near side boards. Perez, the closest option to his left. On the restart. Goodalls will play it off the glass, defended well from Sonora. They'll clear the zone completely up and out of bounds. Restart coming for your home team, Ontario Fury. 4.33 remaining here in the third quarter. A 4 1 lead for the Sonora Club out of Mexico. Looking for six in a row and looking to propel their record at an overall nine and six. Your Fury trying to get over that 500 mark. Perez steers it to the near side, just out of the reach of Charlie Gonzalez. Trying to earn the ball back is Gonzalez and company, and now Sonora doing a job, doing a great job, I should say, along the near side, but man, oh man. They are getting the call so far in the third quarter. Disruption from the visitors out of Sonora. Trius on that last foul call. With 4.16 remaining, the Fury bench erupted there, Jose, on the last call. Yeah, Coach Norberg definitely not happy with that call, but you got to just shrug it off and go on and play just your game here. Uh, it's a 4-1 lead for, for the Solo de Sonora, and unfortunately for the Fury, you haven't seen much of reaction for them this quarter. Very flat uh, first uh, 11 minutes of soccer for them. Reyes with a shot attempt off the far side boards. Echeverria now and toe poked away defensively from your Fury. Perez trying to collect and run as he goes past one defender, 1v3, tiptoeing his way around in the end. Defensively, well done from Sonora. Now Reyes and De Abreu swarm the Sonora player near midfield. Gonzalez will recollect with 335 remaining here in the third quarter. Perez trying to collect there and disrupted from Sonora. Back and forth we go here at the end of the third quarter. I would like to see some quality shot attempts or plays even from Ontario. It's not like they haven't been playing bad in this third quarter, but you did say flat-footed, and that's something that you definitely want to point out in the game of soccer. If you're flat-footed, you're caught watching for, for most of the play here. And before the sequence of the Fury, we saw the the solo de Sonora keeper come out of his goal and provide offensively. And when you see that happening, is for the most part when a team is down on the lead. And for the solo de Sonora to be doing that, it just goes to show you that the Fury are not providing that spark offensively that they need. Here we are with Perez after the turnover. 
Rest trying to create a quality shot attempt. And it's Kim that nearly found the back of the net. Sky high defensive clearance out of there. Attacking third over the back. And a foul call given. Yeah, he definitely used his shoulder to get up on top of that foul. And Aragon you know, claiming actually that it's on Reyes for, mm. for undercutting him, so to speak. But it, in the end, a foul call given to your home team, Ontario Fury. 231 remains here in the third quarter. Set piece play right at the yellow line. Oh, and what nearly, a save. What, yeah, what a save that was off the fingertips of Reyes. And now Gonzalez, who had that quality shot attempt, will lay it off to Cisse. I asked for a quality shot attempt, Jose, mm -hmm. and that's what I got. So let's see if they can actually finish a goal here with 2.12 remaining in the third quarter. Lima now. Tried to thread the needle there to Gonzalez. That's broken up from Sonora. They'll utilize the clock and utilize their goalkeeper, Reyes. Kiros now for Sonora. Finds Tayu along the near side boards. Steered to his goalkeeper by his back line to Reyes. Gonzalez applying the pressure there for Ontario. Bounce goes Tayu's way. And now intercepted from Concalvis. Concalvis will utilize Gonzalez along the near side. Reyes well off his back line. And with reinforcements so close to him, he had the option to do so. It's going to be an important minute and 30 seconds left here for the Fury not to concede. And hopefully they could get a go back to get them back into this game at the start of the fourth quarter. Close out this quarter here, and it's a three-goal deficit to start the fourth quarter of play here from Citizens Business Bank Arena. And now intercepted here. from Jose Gonzalez, and Charlie Gonzalez makes Reyes play as they finally catch the Sonora goalkeeper well off his back line. And they make a pay. It is a brother-to-brother -brother finish there, Jose and Charlie. Capitalize and it's a 4-2 game for Ontario. Important, like I just mentioned 15 seconds ago, it was going to be important, crucial minute and 30 seconds for the Fury to get a goal back to put them in a position to be successful in the fourth quarter. You know, we are mentioning it throughout the game, and we've been talking about it in the last couple games, that we love to see the way the Fury have been pressuring on uh, these last couple of matches, and exactly what you see here. You put pressure, you put them on their toes, you make them make mistakes, and you capitalize. It's 4-2, uh, Solis de Solora, two goal lead, and it's gonna be a great fourth quarter, Brian. 103 remains here in the third quarter. 4-2 Sonora leads. Let's see if Ontario can carry some momentum into the fourth quarter of play. The Gonzalez brothers connecting on all cylinders to find an empty net in the end from Sonora. Reyes playing off of his back line. And it's four to two, we stand here with 40 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Steered to the far side is Perez, and now Juan Gonzalez will find Reyes along the near side. Trying to get a quality shot attempt there, and that's broken up defensively. Tayu and Cisse tangle near midfield. Oof. Perez nearly on the heels of a turnover there from Sonora. 18 seconds remain. Long distance shot attempt is dealt with from Cisse. Very 13, well, I should say. 10 seconds at midfield. Third quarter winding down here. Perez to the near side. Five seconds remaining. Let's see if he gets a shot attempt off. He did, in fact, but two. Now one and zero. Four to two at the end of three quarters of play. But all the momentum right now, Jose, is with your home team, Ontario Fury. And the only quarter that you need the lead in at the end of play is the fourth quarter. Am I right? Yeah, definitely. So. <laughs> I mean, so far what they did in the third quarter, it was a shaky start. But we mentioned in the minute and 30 seconds to get a goal back was going to be so important. The Ontario Fury would like to thank Mitre USA for providing today's match balls. Mitre, founded in Huddersfield, England, is among the world's oldest sporting good brands, starting production in 1817. Mitre is a proud partner of Major Arena Soccer League, providing arena-specific match balls to both the MASL and MASL2. The MASL and MITRE share a long-term vision to see arena soccer grow in North America. MITRE's Astro Division ball is the official game ball for MASL League play. MITRE's Astro Division is designed specifically for play on artificial surfaces. It features a more accurate flight than the average ball and has a 30% reduced bounce to make it play more efficiently in arena soccer. You're watching Ontario Fury Soccer on MASL TV. 
Catch every game each week on the league's official streaming home, MASL.TV. Also want to, want to remind you fans, you can get the latest news and updates on the MASL and your favorite teams. Make sure you are following MASL Soccer on Facebook and Instagram and MASL Arena on Twitter. As always, Ontario Fury Soccer is driven by Mark Christopher Chevrolet. And the Jersey Auction provided by National Community Corps Renaissance together retransform lives and communities because they have their fantastic Hope Through Housing Foundation. The biggest news, Jose, just a couple days ago, the Major Arena Soccer League announced Thursday that the 2018-19 season will kick off on December 1st, 2018, pushing back the start of the season over a month from previous season. The biggest change for the fans, 12 games home, 12 games away. That extends it by a few games there and more action across the MASL uh, league-wide. As your next home game for your Ontario Fury, Wednesday, January 31st versus the Rio Grande Valley Barracudas, 7 p.m. kickoff start. It is trivia and teacher appreciation night at Citizens Business Bank Arena as the Fury take on the RGV Barracudas for the second time already this season. Scores around the MASL was final between the Baltimore Blast and the Harrisburg Heat. A 4-2 victory for the Baltimore Blast. A 3-1 lead still for the San Diego Soccers. I believe it is now in the fourth quarter. A play from Turlock as they take on the Express. A 3-1 lead for the Pacific leading San Diego Soccers as the Fury trying to get over this 500 mark hump again. Overall record of seven and seven. Second in the Pacific Division to the San Diego Soccers. They've won back-to-back -back games and then they ultimately lose that third game in the division. They went six straight games against Pacific Division rivals with Turlock, mm -hmm. Tacoma, and San Diego, and even 500 there as well. A, a, a season really so far, a 500 soccer. Uh, but a lot of promise and future and, and a lot of uh, talent on this Ontario Fury team that hopefully will, will pay dividends uh, coming up soon here, starting with the next season uh, next year. Yeah, talent and future is the key in what you just mentioned there, Brian. That's a lot of talent here and a lot of young uh, talent at that for the Fury. So if you're that, you got to be happy for it. Perez, or excuse me, Kim nearly paid... Sonora play, or Sonora pay on that last play there. Tangle up, and Kim's call for the foul again. What happened on that play, Jose? Ball played off of the far side boards. Kim was pouncing and ready, and then at the last second got tangled up. And this is the fear we wanted to see in the first three quarters, and we saw in the last minute and 30 seconds, and we're seeing here in the, four, in the fourth quarter again, just completely on the opposite side of the field and in the offensive the rather than the defense uh, mindset. Yeah, Jose, you mentioned they were a little flat-footed, and I think they heard you because they finished off that quarter with a goal and some quality attempts to cut into the deficit. A 4-2 lead for the Sonora Club out of Mexico. Just underway here in the fourth quarter from Citizens Business Bank Arena. So glad you oh, can join us here on MASL.TV as Adrian Perez almost made it another stat sheet filler night for himself as he scored a hat trick in San Diego. Already a goal tonight for Perez. And that reminded me of the highlight in San Diego as well. Can call this off that restart and then Reyes just not the touch you wanted off of that volley attempt and the rebound. Right idea, bad outcome for mm -hmm. Reyes. But I was mentioning even the soccer's broadcasters, Jose, they, they, were, they were impressed as well with Perez. Yeah. As you saw him tiptoe his way around a couple defenders. It's a local talent. The local, local talent of Adrian Perez. He's been bringing it all tonight. And that individual move that you just saw, he did exactly the same play and ended up as a goal for the Fury up and, up and over there in San Diego. So if you're uh, Coach Jimmy Norberg, it's all smiles in, in terms of what you're seeing out of Perez. It's great. It's the forward that you want to see. And... And if you're him, you're going to be excited for him as well. Top of the arc restart here. As De Abreu will lay it off to Perez. Perez does what he does, Jose. 
his second goal of the game, and it's a 4-3 game here in Ontario. You know, this kid, Adrian Perez, has a magical, magical left foot. You've seen it as he caused that, uh, that, that foul there, and you're seeing it again in a couple of goals that he's had. Adrian Perez, ladies and gentlemen, he is the future, and he is what the Ontario Fury have right now in these couple of games with these uh, veteran players out. It's 4-3, and like we mentioned, uh, Brian, MASL, that lead could evaporate in just a matter of seconds. So Perez gets his second goal of the night, his 16th on the season, and his 21st point of the season. He's assisted by Mike Conde Abreu, the youngster out of Brazil. Gets his ninth assist on the season and 21st point as well for the Fury. Jiho Lee now applying pressure along the far side. Game on now. Game on exactly, Jose. As you mentioned being flat-footed in the third quarter. They turned things up there at the end of the third quarter of play. Here we are in the fourth, a one-goal game here. And like you said at the end of the third, it should be a very entertaining fourth quarter here. The attendance officially 4,109 attendees here tonight inside Citizens Business Bank Arena. So glad you can nice. join us right here on MASL.TV as well. Kim now on the restart for the Fury. No, it'll be Charlie Gonzalez. He'll lay it off to Concalvis. And the referees whistling that ball dead. A restart coming here for the visitors out of Sonora. An all momentum now on the Fury side. At 13 minutes and 45 seconds left, we're in for a dandy. Cisse now applying pressure for the Fury near midfield. 330, excuse me, 1335 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Tripped up there and Taiyu trying to find the loose ball. Miranda playing it off his back line. Great Overlapping ball. run from Gonzalez. Charlie Gonzalez deflected at the last second. And then again after the shot attempt, Taiyu all the way up. And back defensively is Kim. Switch of the ball, or switch of the field to the near side. That is dealt with. And Taiyu misses the far side. Charlie Gonzalez is on the field and shaking up. Perez. Perez going 1v4. Tripped up in the end. Earns a foul call. You know, he hasn't brought out any cards. I'm not sure why wouldn't you bring that card out there. You know, there was a, a counterattack and a clear chance of goal that he stopped there, Ryan. Not a good sign along the far sideboards. Head athletic trainer Shelby Daly on the field to attend to Charlie Gonzalez. Mm. I mean, aside from Perez, Gonzalez is the top, the other top offensive weapon that can be utilized here with 13 minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Gonzalez, former honorable mention rookie of the year in the MASL just a couple seasons ago, earned a player, excuse me, earned a uh, team of the week on the MASL last week. This performance against the Soccers in the last two games. Four goals, three assists. And now uh, Perez trying to earn another hat trick here. Back-to-back -back games. This guy's some sort of wonderful. Lo another local talent product. Uh, Perez in his first year with the Ontario Fury. You know, he, he's yeah. shown the, the, the ability that he has and that magical left foot that, that Coach Norbrick has mentioned to us before. So it looks like... Man, I don't know if Charlie's going to return after he's shown hobbling on the big screen here at home. But that little knot that he had, the, the Charlie horse that he had in the first half, might be playing dividends yeah. in, this, in this injury here as he's getting helped off the field from Shelby Daly. Excuse me, Daly. And not a good sign for the Ontario Fury. But you like but that he's on his feet, though. Jimmy Nordberg has other options to utilize. And we haven't seen the newcomer too much in the second half. Odai Belhaj, the world Tunisian footballer in futsal, made his debut early on in the first quarter. So now on the restart is De Abreu. He'll utilize Gonzalez. That's, that is Juan Gonzalez. One of the three Gonzalez's on the field or on the team. That was a small deflection from Moreno. Moreno on the field. Took a deflection, got in the shooting lane of Juan Gonzalez. And Regardless if he's injured or not, this is something that definitely benefits the Sol de Sonora. Well, you they stop know, the rhythm they, and you put they, a pause in the game. Huh? They, they know what they're doing as far as stopping the rhythm, as you say. 
back-to-back -back Ron Newman Cup final championship appearances against the defending champs Baltimore Blast. As I feel like if you're Coach Norberg, you got to be happy, right? You're just mentioning all the accolades for the Soldiers of Sonora. They've been in the finals two years in a row. And look what this young, young Fury team has been able to do as in terms of making a game out of this, making it a competitive uh, fourth quarter with 13 minutes left to, be able to go and just down one goal. You know, this is something that it's going to be a uh, smile, bring smiles to Coach Norberg, and it's something that's going to get uh, a lot more maturity out of these young players. So Moreno hopping off the field on his own power. Looks like he might have just overextended himself Yeah. on that shot attempt. I mean, looks like a pure deflection there. Let's talk about a tight contest. We're here at four to three. That championship game last year against Baltimore, a two to one final mm. between the Blast and Sonora. Perez, it, you know, at, at, the, at, at, on that specific play, Jose, running into the goalkeeper, that should have been a non-call. You know, what happened previously, though, is the way that the reason why Paris tripped the goalkeeper is because he was tripped yeah. by a defender yeah. as well. So that's why I think the, goal, the referee didn't give him a, a card or a hard time. But with the goalkeeper, I mean, you know what you're doing as well. You know, the goalkeepers love to uh, milk the clock off the, off the milk time off the clock, I should say. So uh, see how long he takes to, to get up. And now the referee or head coach Jimmy Nordberg talking to the referees. Asking for a card for really embellishing you know that what? foul. Looking at the replay, it looked like it should have been a foul and possibly a kick for the Fury here. As you can hear from the fans. Yeah, Kiros, the man defending there, as he at the last second tripped up Perez. And he didn't man, even play these, the ball. These, these foul calls here are a tough pill to swallow, but we've already touched base on that with mentally surviving games like this and a tightly called contest I understand he probably wasn't going to get to that ball right but it's just the fact that there's still a foul there and that the player has no intention of playing on the ball and uh, on purpose dropping a, a, a Fury player down but nonetheless no call 1240 left and it should be a good one so defensive clearance off of the foot of Miranda the goalkeeper of your Ontario Fury Top of the arc restart here for Kiros and company. That shot is deflected well up and over the netting. And another opportunity here for the Souls de Sonora Club. Along the far side boards, they'll restart off a corner kick. 12.37 remaining here in the fourth quarter. In the two-man wall is De Abreu and Perez. They do their job. And Miranda does his. Into the midst it goes quick restart now Perez on the break he does have Kim right down the middle of the field he'll go 1v2 held up momentarily and then dragged down finally a blue card given and Kiros is the guilty player Perez man he attracts defenders not one or two we're talking three to nearly four defenders and boy if you have a player like that offensively you have options across the field to lay your lay the ball off to your teammates and set them up for success. Just the class that he shows and he brings on the pitch. That long ball by Miranda, he's able to bring that down with his thigh as he's in a full running motion and somehow control it and bring it down. He gets through two defenders. The third defender says, hey, if I don't bring you down, we could, get a, uh, we could have a tie game here. So luckily for the Solid de Sonora, they do bring him down, but hopefully the Fury could capitalize here on a set piece. Huge set piece. Holding penalty, and there it is, right off the top of the glass there. Ball steered in, in again on the power play. It is Caceres, Juan Gonzalez, Gio Lee, Reyes, and Perez. As a power play here on the penalty kill for Sonora, 63% on the season on the power play for Ontario. That ball just sails into the hands of Reyes. Hopefully the crowd could pay into it as uh, they're getting energized with the power play. 4,109 fans here at Citizens Business Bank Arena tonight. Great crowd and probably one of the largest clouds of the season. Here come the Fury. Gonzalez now is tripped up. Good no ball. foul call there. 
Did not play the ball at all. Things are getting real yeah, chippy Jaguar just got a blue down card. on the field. As Gonzalez got tangled up, there was no foul call given. And then now an elbowing penalty. And those reactionary foul calls again. Yeah. As after a holding penalty on Kiros, and now an elbowing penalty on Gonzalez. You know, so unfortunately that Juan Gonzalez go ahead and did that play. You already have a man up through your power play, and then you go ahead and uh, react that way for a foul that you don't get called in your favor. Those are the mental mistakes, Brian, that we say that you shouldn't fall into, and it could cost you a game. So Sonora on the back end will have about a 54 oh, a save. Second power play and then Caceres along that near side they're waving it off not sure what the ref is calling here. he's calling it a free kick for I, the Fury I, I, why do you call the why'd you call off the play then not sure what the ref was doing there and if it's a foul for the Fury coach Jimmy Norberg has a right to be upset for this 11-16 remaining and plenty of drama here in this fourth quarter. If you're just joining us live here from Ontario, California, mm. it's been back and forth. The last two goals have been from the Ontario Fury. They are going 4v4 here, and Perez is then a laid off to Caceres off the fingertips of Reyes. Restart coming here. No official word of what happened after Caceres finished the ball to score for the Ontario Fury. It would have been a tied game. That goal waved off. And now Perez, out of probably some frustration there along the near side, sails one shot up and out of bounds. 11.05 remaining, Jose. A 4-3 lead for the Sonoras. Sonor uh, Souls the Sonora, excuse me. Just 30 seconds left on the power play for the Fury. Well, it's washed out after coincidental minors. But Sonora will get a little bit of a power play after the back end while Gonzalez finishes penalty in the box. Kiros will find his way on back onto the pitch. It's getting a lot physical down there, Brian. A lot more than what we've seen throughout the game, but a 4-3 game, such tight competitiveness. I'm surprised if you're not seeing it a lot, a lot more of that. A tale of two halves, really. The first half, flat-footed and... And really non-pressuring was Ontario. As now Concalvis and now Cisse, but deflected off of Sonora. And they'll recollect here for Miranda. Kiros out of the box in a 50-second power play for the visitors. Reyes will try and utilize some possession here along with Concalvis and Cisse. And now Miranda. Tripped up there off of the ball was Reyes. No foul call given. Perez, Perez goes around three, right down the middle of the pitch, gets tripped up, and a blue card given. Perez doing things on the field that I have never seen as head coach Jimmy Norberg is absolutely irate on that bench. You no, know, we would have to see the replay once again, but it's understandable they get the blue card, but I'm not sure if that player should even still be here. It was a clear way of goal for Perez, and if it's not for that foul, we have a tie game here, Brian. It's 4-4. But we mentioned it's getting a lot physical, and I think that's exactly what they're uh, discussing down there, the refs are. Two-minute penalty for pushing. So 20 seconds, 26 seconds remain on the penalty served by Gonzalez. How'd that play, though, Perez? He, just the way he just took all the whole defense from the middle of the field. He attracts three to four players every time he touches the ball. That's the amazing, and I say I've never seen anything like it because he's not that fleet of foot, but he is very tactical, very precise. He knows exactly what he's gonna do to get around one defender, and then two, and then three, yep. and continue on the play, draw the foul, and another modified power play here coming up in 26 seconds. So a timeout call here. here. 9.54 remains. The ball right outside the arc here for Ontario to restart with. Got some momentum here. Perez controlling what, what they've done so far as head coach Jimmy Nordberg gets a cautionary yellow card here. 
And I, I think rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I understand the yellow, the blue card, which gets him a two-minute two power play, but he was breaking that foul that Adrian Perez was going on. He was the last man. He brought him down, and there was no one in front of him other than the goalkeeper. So I understand that frustration from Coach Jimmy Normberg, and hopefully his feistiness and fireness uh, excels in, in his shows on, on his players. But so far, it's a 4-3 game. What an exciting fourth quarter it has turned out to be. It was 4-1 in the third, kind of flat, kind of we didn't see that much of the Fury. Something was said on that timeout that sparked them out in the third quarter to get a goal back. And they did. They're one back now, and it's 4-3 uh, Solis. It's good nine minutes and 54 seconds left. Nine minutes, 54 seconds remain here from Ontario, California. So glad you can join us right here on MASL.TV. My name is Brian Tabajay, alongside Jose Duran here inside the arena. So glad, so glad 4,000 fans are in for a treat yeah. at the end of this game here. And not only that, National Community Renaissance together. We transform lives and communities. Jersey auction off the backs of your Ontario Fury players into the hands of the Fury fans after the auction. All proceeds benefiting local Southern California charities. What a great concept that is. Thank you so much to National Co Community Renaissance. Huge and play of course, here. Mark Christopher Chevrolet. Ontario Fury soccer driven by Mark Christopher Chevrolet. The restart deflected in the end, but 19 seconds remain on the penalty serve from Gonzalez. De Abreu steers it to the far side with Perez. Broken up there momentarily from Sonora. And Sonora trying to draw another foul here. Nine and a half remains here in the fourth quarter. Charlie Gonzalez, nice to see him back on the field. Perez defended from Echeverria. Echeverria sneaky, sneaky as he knew that ball was coming right to Perez, and he said, nope, I'm gonna get that ball before Man, how, you're able to do anything. How bad does Charlie Gonzalez want to be a part of this mm -hmm. potential victory here? On the power play, you have De Abreu, Caceres, Juan Gonzalez, Reyes, and Perez. Perez now to Reyes, and now De Abreu nearly poked out that near side post just wide. Sonora, you better believe they're trying to draw a foul yeah, here they gotta too. Yeah, be careful here. Nothing. As they, they really try and embellish that one. Rightfully so. Referees do a non-call there. 8.40 remains here in the fourth quarter of play. 40 seconds remain on the power play for Ontario. Should they capitalize here? To the far side, De Abreu. 1-2 with Perez. And De Abreu ties the game up with a power play goal for Ontario. 8.28 remains. We're all tied up at four. Mr. De Abreu committed a mistake in the first uh, part of the half, giving away a goal for Los Soles, and you could tell he wanted that back so badly, and he got it back again here. But what a play by Adrian Perez once again to give the ball, the give and go. It's 4-4, and here we go. 8.28 remains in the fourth quarter here from Citizens Business Bank Arena. Three unanswered goals to tie it up. After Tayu made it a 4-1 game early on in that third quarter, a 1-2 worked out to perfection in between the legs of the goalkeeper of Sonora. And we are all tied up at four apiece. Power play goal, all the momentum, home crowd behind you. Let's see what this young squad can do. But so far, what you taught, what you told us in the beginning of the game, that no matter if they were playing horribly or not, they were still in it, no matter how bad they were playing. And that's exactly what Coach Norberg must have mentioned to the team, and he hasn't believed in that they could win this one. Nobody in the penalty box after a handful of minutes for both teams visiting the penalty box. 8.05 remains here in the fourth quarter, all tied at four. Reyes playing well off his back line near midfield. Charlie Gonzalez, nice to see back on the field. As Tayu nearly breaks the draw. And then Miranda. Miranda with a quality save there. What a save. Miranda just having a great game regardless of the four goals given up by the Solis, uh, by the Fury, I say. He's had a couple of great saves. And if not for that unlucky bounce in the first goal, 
Uh, we could probably have a different story here, but regardless, 4-4, four, four, here come the Fury. Reyes now dancing around Tayu. He'll steer it to Concalvis. And now Reyes for a split second. If you one time that pass as a shot attempt, Jose, would have been a quality shot attempt on goal. Was not the case there as an extra touch for Andy Reyes. Now Perez earning the Great ball back. Tackle. Two on one if they hurry. Does have Reyes to the far side. Steers it to him off the post. And then again after the shot attempt deflected from Sonora. The second hesitation should have been the first touch. Juan Gonzalez now to the far side. 1v2 waiting for reinforcements. Charlie Gonzalez onto the field. Collects and steers it to Mike Conde Abreu. Fingertip save there from Reyes. They then have to get back defensively. Jose Gonzalez and now Juan Gonzalez joining the party to get Frank Tayu going around two defenders. Let's Not go. this time. Charlie Gonzalez now crossing near midfield. Six and a half remaining in the fourth quarter. Scoop pass there, and that did not work out as Kiros will deflect it off the glass, up and out of bounds. Restart coming for your Ontario Fury along the near side. Again, though, that previous play from the Fury, that breakaway, who was it? Agent Paris once again gets the steal at half court, creates that offensive counterattack, and unfortunately for the Fury, uh, nothing comes out of that. Bad pass there after the foul call, or excuse me, the ball out of play. But Cisse recollects, and Miranda will clear the defensive third. Kiro's trying to shove it down their throat to the far side glass. Tayu trying to recollect here to the far side. It works. Sonora will utilize their goalkeeper, Reyes. 5.50 remains here in the fourth quarter of play. All tied at four, three unanswered goals from the home team, Ontario Fury. Tayu lets that ball whiz by, hits the corner, and they'll recollect and utilize Tayu again. Defended from Cisse. Great job by Cisse. Shielding so the far. ball off is Tayu. And now Kim and Cisse again, trying to break up that one two, deflected, and up, at a, up and out of bounds. Restart coming for the Fury. 5.25 remains here. Concalvis, Jose Gonzalez, Perez, Andy Reyes, and Dea Abreu on the field Great for dummy. Ontario. Perez waiting for that ball back. Reyes trying to recollect and gather after losing balance. Streaking past midfield. They have a three on two. Tie you to the far side. Off the wall. And Dea Abreu will sky high defensively clear it. But Sonora with the possession here. Five minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Kiros steers to the far side. Rosales on the field as well, along with Tayu. Defensively, that is Concalvis. Shoved off the ball. And a foul call on Frank Tayu. So far, I'm extremely happy from what I've seen defensively from Cisse and Tego Concalvis. And what the way they've been able to knock down Frank Tayu is short of extraordinary. We talked to Coach. Uh, Jimmy Norberg earlier and he said hey we just got to contain uh, Frank we got to make sure that he he's going to get one or two goals behind us but make sure he doesn't go ahead and explode offensively and so far in a 4-4 game this is exactly what's going on and now De Abreu just inches away from taking the lead four and a half remains here in the fourth quarter Tayu now off the throwdown from Reyes 1v1 that is broken up well done from Concalvis dangerous ball. Right as I say, well done. It's a bad, a little too much heat on that pass. Sonora collecting now with 4-10 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Final score between Turlock and San Diego. 4-1. San Diego victorious in Turlock. Off of the defensive turnover is Echeverria to the far side. Deflected. Off the glass and Concalvis trying to Get it out defensively. Echeverria tangled up. No foul call there. Perez lets the ball run. That is Reyes off his back line. Uh, Tayu now will try and go to the near side. Nearly got it into the near post. Jose, three and a half remains here in the fourth quarter. So glad you can join us right here on MASL.TV. Another two games wrapped up. So we welcome 
Whoever's joining us here from Mexico and the U.S. 3.20 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Too much on that intended pass from De Abreu. Fresh bodies onto the pitch for the home team Fury. Cisse has done a brilliant job so far on the MASL goal scoring leader and point leader, Frank Tayu. That ball sails up and out of bounds. Three minutes and 11 seconds left, Brian, and we should have a great ending in our hands here. Should, we do. <laughs> it is already happening, Jose. I feel it, the crowd feels mm -hmm. it. Like you said, just a few minutes remaining here at 311. All tied at four. Ball laid down to the feet of Tayu. He steers it to the far side. And they nearly get a goal there. Charlie Gonzalez with a defensive play so far tonight. That's half a goal. That's half a goal right there. What a save by Charlie Gonzalez. Last minute on the line. As the ball now finds Gino Kim. At the edge of the box there is Reyes. And now Sonora across midfield in their attacking half. 1v1 against Douglas Lima. And Sonora upset with that last shot attempt. That was off the foot of Aragon. You know, so far since, uh, since we started seeing a lot more rhythm of from the from the Fury, you haven't seen a lot from the Solos of Sonora. Not much soccer from their side. Not a lot of touching, not a lot of movement. A lot of individual play from Tayu, but that's it. Dave Breu now trying to get the ball along the far side. That's given up. Defensively, is going to have to get in some position here, and Kakalva steers it to Lima. Lima working with a two-on-one if they hurry. With speed is Lima, right down the middle field. No shot attempt, broken up defensively from he had the Solas de Sonora. Time. Yeah, along the near side, Perez was open for that small window. Perez has played what seems like the last, actually the entire fourth quarter. And here we are with the Souls along the far side. Miranda caught in no man's land. He comes off his back line to play that ball. You saw the 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 brief moment of hesitation there. Yeah. And that cost him that goal. You know, Douglas Lima committed once too early for that uh, step that he did that allowed the uh, Sonora player to go ahead and get uh, empty uh, empty pathway towards the goal. He shoots it and just a simple tap in. It's 5-4 Solis. Unfortunately, something that they don't deserve. But in the game of soccer, it's not whether you deserve it or not. It's whether how many more goals can you score than your opponent. And so far, it's 5-4 Solis. You need, you need a little bit of luck, too, to win in this league in the MASL. So the extra attacker now on for your home team, Ontario Fury. 5-4 lead for Solis de Sonora. Extra attacker is Jose Gonzalez. Minute 50 remains here in the fourth quarter. Caceres to the far side. Now Perez and Gonzalez, and that's defensively dealt with. And now Gino Kim. Gino Kim will lay it off to the near side. And now switch of the field to Caceres. He'll settle things down, lean into a shot attempt, and in the end, a pass back to his extra attacker. Minute 30 remains here in the fourth quarter. Caceres finds the ball at his feet along the far side. To Perez. Splits two defenders. Gonzalez along the near side. Foul call there. Foul and a pull and for the Fury with a minute and 14 seconds left. The set play is probably be probably the most important set play of the game. Rosales, the man who committed the foul there for Sonora. Gonzalez, Juan Gonzalez will Stand over the ball and a call a timeout here. Rightfully so, a minute 14 remains on the game clock here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what exactly they want to do with this set play. You know, we like we mentioned in the previous set play when they scored, uh, they have a number of plays drawn up here that they practice throughout the week. So Coach Norbrick is definitely going to bring out his best set, best set play that he has in his pocket. And hopefully for the Fury, it's going to be the right play and get them on the board. You're watching Ontario Fury Soccer on MASL TV. Catch every game each week on the league's official streaming home, MASL.TV. You can also download the MASL app. You can catch all the live streams, all the archived games as well. You can download it on the Google Play app, or excuse me, through the Google Store 
on Google Play or the Apple App Store and watch all the live broadcasts and the archive broadcasts as well. The MASL app, all the live and archived action you can take if you rightfully want to do so. What a heart-wrenching game this has been for the Ontario Fury players and fans. Back and forth we've gone. It was a four to one lead in the fourth quarter. Three unanswered goals tied the game up late with under three minutes to play. And just at the 155 mark, the Solas de Sonora Club found the back of the net again, courtesy of number 14 on their team, Emmanuel Aragon, his second goal of the game. Extra attacker on for the Ontario Fury. Minute 14 remains here in the fourth quarter. Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Perez, Caceres and Kim on the field. And almost found the middle of this, the box there. As Gonzalez will utilize Jose Gonzalez. And now to the far side with Caceres. One minute remains. Gino Kim trying to get that ball across the pitch. Sonora will have a shot attempt well off the mark here. Jose Gonzalez will settle things down. 45 seconds 45 left. 45 seconds remain. Caceres to the far side with Kim. Kim will play it off the boards and Reyes, goalkeeper for Sonora. That ball was up and out of bounds. Restart coming here for Caceres. 35.5 seconds remain. Lucky for Caceres that the ref blew the whistle there because you don't stop till the ref blows the whistle or that would have been a handball. Along the far side, Ontario has an opportunity here. Juan Gonzalez will start things off. Let's loose. Almost found net there as the ball is given up and Sonora will steer it to the far side. 25 seconds remain. They'll have to hurry. Jose Gonzalez crosses midfield. Steers it to the near side to his brother. That's broken up defensively from Echeverria. He'll fire away. And that is wide, 14 seconds remain. Juan Gonzalez to Caceres, and that ball hops up and out of bounds. 7.2 seconds remain, Sonora ball. And it looks like the Solos of Sonora are gonna come into Citizens Business Bank Arena and be successful one, once again as they have uh, defeated the Ontario Fury here, Brian, 5-4. A tough game for this young squad to Swallow, so to speak. Tough pill to swallow here from Ontario. Ball's up and out of bounds. 2.8 seconds remain. Uh, hold on. Set piece play here at the top of the arc. And man. Two seconds two left, right? 2.8 Brian. seconds left. The entire ball has to cross the entire goal line to count as a goal. 2.8 seconds remain. Restart coming at the top of the arc. Charlie Gonzalez standing over the ball to restart. Does that press to his right? Goes to Gonzalez. That is deflected. Time winds down. The Souls de Sonora are victorious here from Ontario, California. Hey, I'll take it as a loss, but I'll take it as a quality game that this young core has taken away from this game. As something that they've learned to come together, play in these moments, tie the game up after being down three goals. You know, just, just going through this experience of playing a quality team like the Souls of Sonora, making it a, a great contest, providing what the fans came to see, and really learning from this. Head coach Jimmy Nordberg said, there is a very bright, talented future here in Ontario. I'm excited what they can do going past this game here tonight. Yeah, Brian, a lot of maturity from these players, and they're definitely something that coach Jimmy Nordberg will be happy about. But if you're the Fury team, you're going to go ahead and home and you're going to toss and you're going to turn. You're going to think about that shot, that clearance that he didn't do because it was a game that they had in their hands after coming down 4-1. The Solis of Sonora didn't provide much uh, offensively. But like I mentioned, if you're coach Jimmy Norberg, there's a lot of maturity here in this team that definitely showed tonight. Well, their next game will be at home again against the uh, RGV Barracudas on Wednesday the 31st. Kickoff at 7 p.m., so a handful of days of rest for this club. They'll recharge their batteries, re-energize, get some new energy, playing a team who's struggling this season in RGV at 3-12 and overall. They'll take this game, they'll learn from it, they'll move on and 
finish up the rest of the season. Overall record right now after tonight's loss. Seven and eight overall. A five to four loss here from Ontario. You're watching Ontario Fury Soccer on MASL.TV. Catch every game each week on the league's official streaming home, MASL.TV. Player of the game from our end, from the CBBA's end, uh, Adrian Perez, a pair of goals again tonight. Five goals in his last two games. This guy has a very bright future. But until Wednesday, the 31st against RGV, it's been my pleasure. My name is Brian Tabjay alongside Jose Duran. A big thank you to the production team here uh, across Citizens Business Bank Arena. We'll see you next time here as the Ontario Fury play host to the RGV Barracudas on Wednesday the 31st. So long, everybody. Enjoy your evening. Good night, folks.